questions of the day and what's happening in the news, but through the eyes of faith. Plus, our doctor in the house. As you know, we always look at mental health matters as well, mind matters as, as well. Um, coming up next, oh, let me say thank you. Thank you to the team, Isla Lones. Wow, Carla Batiste, Matt Thornton, Finley Knowles and Deborah Brown. I like to call them the A-team. Uh, let me tell you what's coming up next on Talk TV is James Whale Unleashed. So uh, join me tomorrow, same time here for our Sunday version of the show. In the meantime, have a lovely evening. See you tomorrow. This is Talk TV. Straight talking, no nonsense, and annoying all the right people. This is Talk TV. We're here. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining us. You're watching the Independent Republic of Mike Graham right here on Talk TV. Welcome to Friday Night with Nadine. Here on Primetime, we like to speak to the business people behind big moments. Good evening. I'm Piers Morgan, Uncensored, in New York City. Very impressive. Well played. I'm three days into the job. What have I done wrong? Yeah. And your face just stared <laughs> out at me. <laughs> ah! Me and you, conquer time. Who wins? Happens. You. <laughs> do you know what I love about tour today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. Are you actually speech rating for Rishi Sunak? I'm so rich. <laughs> but, uh, frankly, uh, I'm going to take the side of boozed up Brits against these pompous. What do you mean you're not going to support Mayor Jose no, Luis? No, I am not. Stop pandering to the NIMBYs, to the naysayers, and the National Society for the Preservation of the Habitat of the Lesser Spotted New. The problem lies in the bureaucracy. Yeah. It's that almost that like those highly done. paid consultants don't really know what they're doing. The first thing they teach you in weather school is never confuse dog walkers with doggers. Twitter, you sons of <laughs> Can you please reinstate my account? Yeah, Thank you. There's a threat that you'd be worried about. <gasps> so are you saying that you're being overwhelmed, that you're inundated? We are really working hard for you. We're just asking patients to be patient with us. The one thing Labour would be terrified of if Boris Johnson zoomed back into full focus. Boris Johnson uh, isn't what he was. Most of them seem to have given up. Welcome to the talk. It's really great to be back. My little darlings. Mm. Kids think all they have to do is stay at home, be silly, mm -hmm. take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok then, yeah? Problem oh, solved. Yeah. Problem solved. He's as up. fit as a butcher's dog. There he's, you go. He's fit as a butcher's dog? Him. Oh, right. <laughs> but, but he's now middle class. Three of us here, Tess. <laughs> the knock-on effect is far larger than just CO2. So I nearly have empathy when I'm speaking to them. I know, now you're probably going to boot me off the show after saying this <laughs> girl. But I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not a Swifty. Critics, I'd say me included, <laughs> got former PMs all over the joint saying things the last few days. They have indeed, yeah. <laughs> Great first show, you having fun? Oh, a ton of fun. Yeah. King Piers and King Cube. <laughs> I think it's only room for one king, man, you know what I'm saying? Just cause they're skin folk don't mean they're kin folk. When I say I am God, you think I'm joking or not? You tell me. I'm not joking. Well, I'd rather do it on camera. No. no, 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 no. If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Why? We'll explain why. How do you feel about that influence that you had? You better be careful. We're coming for your children there, buddy. About my resignation, yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. It was a fabulous dinner until you two uh, mooned us. <laughs> Thank God for Talk TV is not only the home of common sense, it's the only place uh, where you get the truth. Look, I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on Talk TV and Radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a car. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on Talk TV. OK, here we go. Very good evening to you. Welcome to the James Whale Show, Unleashed Primetime, between now and 10. And do you know there isn't another live three-hour show on TV? There really isn't. Tonight, everything is live. We will get to talking about the news issues of the day uh, a little later. But first, I'd like to uh, spend a couple of minutes talking about Bobby Charlton, legendary football player who sadly died 
today. Um, Ash, you're the football expert. Um, what well, was it that, that made... In, the room, in this room I am, but yeah, Bobby Charlton, great player for England, England captain, Manchester United. He didn't Ash, look like a footballer. you don't need to lean in and he didn't, as if you're well, eating I can hear the levels, what the levels are. He didn't, he didn't look like a footballer, um, <laughs> but he was uh, amazingly gifted technically. You know, he played alongside George Best, a very cool guy. So these two amazing footballers, he scored amazing goals you know, with his head from 40 was yards out, no back lift, top corner, incredible player. Yeah. Iconic, and the only the the in the winning team of 1966. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He and was captain, and of course his brother Jackie. And we defender. haven't won since. No, we haven't won since. Since uh, I know something no. about T uh, football, no. not yeah, much. Very good, but man. There we are. Yeah, yeah I thought that was very good. Fifty odd years. Of I birth. mean, for those uh, for those younger people, I mean, Bobby Charlton. Who would he compare with? I would today? compare him to sort of Scalzi, just technically beautifully gifted, but mm -hmm. you know, probably another. A league uh, maybe up from even Scholes here, maybe Gaza, but he didn't have the flair of Gaza. But he's 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 looked at, at that, you know, at that. Uh, well, I, think I didn't even know you knew that much. Oh, I'm I'm very impressed. But yeah. um, a legend, oh yeah, a British Geordie. legend, not Famous just Geordie. Lee Ayman, right, right. Uh, not not just a football legend, but a, a personality who's been with yeah. us for a very very long time. And he had the Bobby Charlton soccer schools with all kids all over mm. the country uh, went to. Yeah. Did a lot of good. Yeah, oh, yeah. a lot of good. Yeah. And Man United, he was the you know ambassador for Man United. Yeah. As well. uh, so um, we think about Bobby Charlton, who uh, is another great person who has left us today. Now, for those of you not acquainted with the whale, uh, let me just warn you that sometimes things get a bit fiery and a bit heated on my shows. I'm, not, I'm never, ever, ever understood why, but some people get very upset and very annoyed, and so. Uh, over 50 years I seem to have been I'm either more cantankerous or not as good as I used to be but I'm, I think that must be in the middle somewhere. Um, so today some of the topics we're going to talk about on the show uh, Just Stop Oil, protesters block migrants returning to the bars. You see that funny film we're going to talk about the BBC scandal uh, Israel has now contemned the BBC for the refusal to call Hamas terrorists and uh, the 999 scandal, if you phone the police now, they're going to take maybe two hours uh, to come and see you. My special guest for this part of the programme tonight is Mr Will Geddes. And I hate to think how long we've known each other, but it's been a long, long time. Long time, James, long I, time. I can't tell you exactly what <laughs> Will does. We put him down as a security expert, but I've been to him with various things, and um, he seems to have a finger in every kind of security pie going. Now, um, let me first ask you this. Why do so many people seem to get this wrong? Hamas mm. is a vile, disgusting oh, piece of excrement, mm. OK? Yeah. But why do so many people confuse them with a Palestinian, a race of people yeah. who have been... Uh, with no country now for a long time, and we can explain the differences there, but why does everybody consider the word Palestinian means terrorist? Yeah. Or doesn't mean terrorist, Well, exactly, yeah. It doesn't it's, mean terrorist, <clears throat> no. but what they're doing is making it worse. Well, this is the thing. I mean, and this is what I've been trying to, to clear. As they say, is the fog of war right now in this conflict, mm. and there are Palestinians uh, who are perfectly innocent, nice people who want to go about their day, live their lives peacefully, and Hamas, who have been almost represented as the militant group that is a terrorist group, let's not forget that, uh, who is representing and fighting on behalf of the Palestinians. What do you think of the BBC refusing to call them uh, terrorists? Ridiculous. Ridiculous mm. uh, and <clears throat> misinforming. And I think it's misreporting. And I think as a taxpayer... It grinds my gears, James. Mm. That well, just don't pay the... Uh, I mean, obviously, don't watch TV illegally, but no. why would you pay the licence for this load of rubbish? Well, exactly. I mean, to be honest, what the BBC have failed to do, as far as I can see, and I think a lot of MSM, to be fair, but I mm. think Talk, Talk TV's done a really good job, is to actually show that there are three people, in three groups involved. There's, there's Israel, there's the Palestinians, and there's Hamas. And Hamas are no different to Islamic State in many of their doctrines and their mandate. They want to eradicate all Jews. Mm. Palestinians do not want to eradicate all Jews. So the thing that really, really frustrates me is you have lots of people, after the horrendous attacks on the 7th, going out protesting for Palestine. 
I mean, really, that is not the good time to do it. This is not good optics for Palestine. This is not giving Palestinians a mm. fair representation in the wake of a horrific, barbaric okay. terrorist attack. Let's take some phone calls on this while we're yeah. doing it. You'll Let's need to find yourself also, a phone call. the government of I, Gaza. I, I am speaking for a moment. Wasn't. Thank you very much. Sorry, That's quite democracy. Uh, before we actually take the calls, i better give you the number. It's 0344 499 1000, bottom of the screen there. If you're listening to us on talk radio, then uh, you know the number, I'm sure. 0344 499 1000. If you want to talk about this or some of the other subjects, we'll put calls on during... The course of the programme. We'll also put texts on. You can text us at 87222. Text the word talk and your message. Beautifully done. And you can also uh, tweet us. Uh, at Virtual Ash, most importantly, and at the James Well, <laughs> at Talk TV, at Will Geddes. Yep. Uh, okay. Let's talk to David from Glasgow. David, you're on the air on Talk TV and Radio. What would you like to say? Yeah, good evening, everybody. I was just intrigued to, to Will's comments. You know, the BBC are completely wrong. What I would like to see the BBC's view being, with all the influx of migrants into this country, what would happen if there was a terrorist um, incident? What would happen if, if it was linked to Hamas? Would the BBC change their views, you know? It, it doesn't quite stack up that, that, that kind of position. Well, 7-7 seven, seven happened here, and they called them terrorists. The Manchester Arena, they called exactly. them terrorists. Why the are they calling them, Why are they calling them terrorists mm -hmm. if they're meant to be impartial? doesn't add up, does it? I think whoever's no. running the news on the BBC actually doesn't really know what they are doing. Um, if, uh, I'm just sorry, I'm just somebody passing you an earpiece over the uh, camera is quite funny. Secret service. Um, so, I, I, I think you're absolutely right, David. I think the BBC actually have to consider their position. And Sky News. Uh, and Sky, you think Sky News too? Well, they, they, they've been reporting on And loads of, uh, loads of, not here though. Mm -hmm. which is yeah. Amazing. Good point, David. Thank you very much indeed. Um, well, why does, to me, the media seem to be so uh, pro anything that is against Israel? Um, I, I, again, James, I think there's very, very poor reporting on this whole conflict. I don't think there's any impartiality. I think there's a lot of information. I think Tom Tuggan had really <laughs> captured the, the, the essence yeah. of what's been going on when he spoke the other day in the wake of the attack. Ex army on the man hospital. who's now an MP who yeah. uh, served a number of times in Afghanistan. Nice guy. Knows what he's, yeah. nice. And he knows what he's talking about. Exactly. But he said everybody rushed to judgment on that hospital strike mm. before anybody's got the evidence. Now, yes, I know Israel <laughs> presented their evidence, Hamas are making their evidence. Uh, it's, again, a foggy situation. You have to wait in time. Within 10 minutes, yeah. Hamas declared 500 dead from an Israeli strike, and then they all went along with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think some of the reporting on some of these channels is, is really quite it's disgusting. Poor. Also, I don't understand why people don't get the picture that the reason that this is going on is because Hamas have based themselves in schools and hospitals and places where innocent people live. Why are we uh, not realising that? Now, I don't want to see any innocent people killed. Oh, it's the reporting killed. of it, James. They're, they're, they're not reporting that the, the, the Palestinians are being used as human shields. <laughs> uh, they're using schools, nursery schools. They're using uh, hospitals to store ammunition and weapons and missiles and everything. So, so they're hiding, basically, amongst <laughs> the Palestinians. And it's not like the, but many, I mean, the, a lot of people don't realise that Hamas has persecuted Palestinians yeah. for years and years and years. It's not not simply against the, the yeah. Israelis, it's against yeah, the Palestinians. It would help the well. Palestinians out as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll go maybe later, but everybody sure. I'm sure knows the history of what happened at the sec end of the Second World War. Yeah, I spoke to somebody today in their 40s who said, well, we never learned about the Second World War when I was at school. Mm. So some of these uh, idiots wandering around saying from the river to the sea, yeah. Palestine will be free or whatever, don't seem to understand the history. And the, the fact that Hamas behaved, in, they were as the Nazis were. They came into somebody else's country and they shot innocent people there's no war well, they tortured they just them they tortured. raped them and took people away and yeah i was just cut bits off going them. to say that I'm
No, you, you know, but, and now we're having it in the streets as well here. Yeah, and it's getting worse to my mind. I wasn't around in the Second World War, but it's uh, it's beginning to look as if we're heading that way if we're not careful. Well, I think I think one of the biggest concerns. I mean, and I, I obviously called it uh, after that that there was going to be certainly after Khalid Masala, the the founder of Hamas, made a sort of um, worldwide declaration for mm. rage and for jihad against obviously the West that we were going to see pockets of individuals that would carry out spontaneous attacks. And we've seen these in France, we've seen these in Belgium, we've seen them in South Africa, uh, we've seen them uh, all over the place. Um, so, you know, we, we're in very, very volatile times. I mean, we've got two major conflicts running here yeah. right now. We've got Ukraine and we've got, obviously, the Israel-Palestine situation. People's emotions are running incredibly incredibly high even on my own social media mm. there are very good friends of mine who are reacting in an incredibly strong emotive way mm. and in a misdirected and misguided way and an uninformed way which is which is what's more worrying people aren't necessarily seeking out the truth or impartiality okay. and being able to make a and coming to <clears> rash <throat> judgments on things right uh, if you want to join us, uh, 0344-499-1000. If you are of the Muslim faith, I would love to know what your take on this is because what is happening at the moment isn't really doing uh, any faith any good, to be quite honest. No. I'm, I'm a completely non-religious person. I can't stand any of you. Um, but you have the freedom in this country to be Christian, to be Jewish, to be pa Muslim... And, and fine, but why are most, not all, but most wars are started by people who are, in my view, just ridiculously religious? If anybody can answer that, I would love to hear from you. 0344 499 1000. Quickly, Ken. Good evening, gentlemen. He'll have the answer. Good evening. I have the answer. Get to the point, Ken. I've got no time for you tonight. What do you want to say? Just showing that I believe in freedom of speech, you're on. Israel, Israel will never be defeated or destroyed. That'll Every do very, very good. Go away now. That kind of rhetoric <laughs> really doesn't do any good at all. Both sides trying to you know, just, you know, grow up. OK, Tonya in Devon. Tonya, good evening. Welcome to the show. Your point is... Never mind, Tonya's not listening. Let's uh, move to someone else. OK, let's go on to another story for a moment. Listen, if you're going to ring me, turn the TV or, or turn, turn the, the radio down or off or TV down or off and uh, listen down the phone. Um, and if you want to talk about that, I would love to know your thoughts. This seems to me completely ignorant situation we're in by mm. people who, you know, one lot of people want to completely wipe another lot of people off the face of the earth. Nobody can be allowed with that. Ash came in tonight. Ash, obviously, he's Jewish. He's really getting quite wound up about the things. No, I'm always say. wound up when I get off the tube. It's nothing to do with that. I'm oh, always, okay. when I come in, I'm adrenalised when yeah. I come off the... All right, OK. Um, right, let's change to another subject for a moment. Well, it's not another subject. Just yeah. Stop Oil. I can't oh, stand Just Stop Oil. My favourites. They, they really annoy me, as do all these people at the moment who go out and talk rubbish. Um, <laughs> but they protested, interestingly enough, um, uh, about a bus taking some migrants back to the barge in Portland. Uh, and I think it's far... Personally, these people who come over in the small boats, OK, are criminals. They're not migrants, they're criminals. I don't care what the law says, the law should be changed. The government should have done this a long time ago. If you want to come over here, you come over legally. You are not under any threat in France. We can't, we don't have enough land take w or, or infrastructure. Take what's going on. Call, keep calls coming in, call me. 0344-499-1000. I just cannot understand the stupidity of some of these people. Now the idiots of Just Stop Oil have decided they're going to be Just Stop... Um, stop, yeah. stop Stop Immigrants. Stop. Well, that just doesn't <laughs> make sense. But look at this. Here they are. This is a I bus driven by a Home Office driver. And uh, these idiots, look at them, they're all sort of middle-class lefty lovies, but of course I'm completely impartial. I've never been impartial in my life. Um, they, they, they're ruining the... the 
their cause, which is funny because look at them. They stood in front of the bus. The bus driver was very careful and very yeah. clever. He didn't stop. I, but I they think, did I think he needed, didn't they? I, I, I think the driver needed a bit of training from me because what I would probably advise in this instance is you just start gradually applying more speed because obviously it does shuttle them out of the way and then they realise you're not mm. going to... I've driven through, you know, in hostile environments, I've driven through protest groups and the like and the one thing you don't do is you don't stop. Just keep going. People are well, unless they fall under. Obviously, you've got to stop um, legally. In, in, this, in this country, <laughs> can we, Ash? Could you sit back from the microphone? You might not be able to hold it for yourself, but you, you're popping all over the place. I'm not. Um, I'm not popping. Oh, you were when you're getting close. Trust me. <laughs> Look at this. But yeah, I, I, this, this is, is quite great. hilarious. I love the fact that they actually say, I, I, I don't know whether you've got the audio playing on it, but uh, no. a couple of them say, oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Mm. No, they, 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 won't, they won't push over these. But they're all such sort of wet individuals yeah, who sort, yeah. sort of all a bit, I don't know, they're just it's Too much celery juice, I think. Well, it's all that yeah. kind of, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, why would you do that? Although it's apparently very good for you. Well, well they had to come up with a new cause, didn't they? And this is the, the, the zeitgeist. Well, no, they're, just, they're still doing Just Stop Oil. Yeah, but we've all forgotten about that. So this is the one in the news, the Bibby Stockholm, isn't it? So they guaranteed yeah. coverage. Well, <laughs> quite frankly, they the rape, they repulse me. And why the police don't behave in a, a far more... The police are well, useless. Well, it's going to take two hours moment. now, isn't it? By, yeah. by what you're going to be coming on with, uh, James, a little well, bit later. I don't understand why we are not changing the laws that make it impossible at the moment to protect this nation. Well, I think it's a, it's a shame that when there were new laws brought in in advance of uh, King Charles's coronation, because obviously they were especially mm. concerned about protesters coming in there. They didn't actually bolster them any more to cover exactly these types of protests. I, I'm all for free protest, I'm all for mm. free speech, and I think done in a, in a way that it doesn't massively inconvenience other people and it can be corralled well, then great. But if you're actually just stopping people getting about their everyday business who can mm. give two figs about what that agenda is, then... You know, they shouldn't, the laws. shouldn't be allowed to. Yeah, okay. I mean, you're holding people against their will. Yeah. Uh, right. Um, this is for Will. A text, if you want to text us, is 8722. Start your text with the word talk. Um, will, apparently, uh, you are the bloke who guards talk television's car park. <laughs> yeah, on my on my weekends. <laughs> yeah, and he, he puts tickets on the windscreen. Yeah, actually, someone did say to me once. They said, uh, "Do you do protect the uh, prawn yeah. mayonnaise sandwiches at Marks and Spencers?" I, mm. I, I can only aspire to those heady heights. Yeah, yeah. James. Yeah. Uh, um, talk TV car park with your your magnificent motor in there. Uh, it would be an honour, sir. It's only got two spaces. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't really have a car park, so there we are. Zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Sarah, who's, uh, right, what does it say, mobile? Can we sort these calls out, whoever's doing it, and get them on a little quicker, otherwise I'm going to come out there and somebody is going to get the... Uh... The welly treatment. Oh, right, OK. Is Sarah mobile? Does she, Don't, does she do uh, yoga? <laughs> well, well, I can hear Sarah giggling. Whatever you say. Sarah, then. in Temple Fortune. Hello? Yeah, hi. Hello. That's London. Hello. Um, I want to make two points so I don't think have been covered very much so far about this situation um one is uh, but nobody's really asked why are there so many casualties in gaza when israel uh, has to attack and we'll leave the reasons why they feel they have to attack at the moment um well, i think a lot of people have asked that thinking, question hang on. hang on let's answer that first okay well, can i just say because what? can i just say sorry because not only because they've been given millions and millions and millions but we know that hamas has not allowed any shelters to be built yeah, yeah. Um, and um, they also tell people to stay at home and we know I think it's <laughs> well known now that where they put their weapons mm, yeah. um, that was the first thing and I'd be interested to hear obviously what you've got to say it's your program <laughs> thank you for reminding me Sarah um, yes I, I I think this is a point that has been answered but basically well the, the fact is that suddenly Hamas mm. are able to count thousands and thousands oh, yeah. of bodies yeah. Yeah. and the media are just taking it yeah word for word and they're saying exactly. zero terrorists they're taking it as gospel yeah um and you make a very good point ash yeah um, fundamentally i don't think we can look at any realistic casualty counts in gaza right now there is no 
peacekeeping force, there is no monitors that are on the ground there that are reliable to be able to feed back that intelligence. This is a, a war that is working on, an, on uh, a variety of different levels. It's a war that's fought obviously on our screens, but it's also a war fought on the web. And a large proportion of this is going to be Hamas's very, very capable PR and media machine. Mm propagating lots and lots of detail and lots of casualties and lots of numbers of people getting and footage and all sorts of things. So, I mean, I think we, we're, we're all not naive enough to believe that we can actually believe what we see online. And this is why I'm furious with groups like the BBC, who can't even call it Hamas, who are a prescribed terrorist group, a terrorist group, and yeah. call them militants. But they kill the least amount of innocent civilians. They kill 0.6 to 1 is the ratio. The normal average ratio in the world is nine innocent people killed for every militant. In Iraq, mm. it was 3 to 1, and yeah. in Afghanistan, okay. it's 5 to 1. Yeah. It's 0.6 to 1 with Israel. Sarah, yeah. Yeah. thank Five you very much less. indeed. Let's want to pick up with uh, uh, another old friend of mine, Uri Geller, who at the moment, of course, is, is in Israel near Tel Aviv. Um, Uri. How are things there at the moment? I, I really hate to ask, but uh, are you safe? Um, no one is safe from uh, Hamas missiles that are coming in from Gaza because they can hit anywhere, mm. anytime. Um, just about two hours ago, there were sirens uh, wailing in Tel Aviv, so we just uh, go under the staircase. But if you would allow me, please, James, let me just backtrack and go back... Um, Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks ago. I, I just want to remind people what exactly happened there because we, we kind of tend to forget we're now in the war. There are protests all over the world, including London and Berlin and America. But let me remind you that over 1,200 people were slaughtered children, babies, elderly, men, women. 3,500 were injured, maimed. Um, I would say that hundreds were kidnapped, among them babies and children. Now, in my opinion, the Jewish people, now this is since the Holocaust. This, since the Holocaust, nothing like this ever happened. The number of Israeli deaths is equivalent to as if 36,000 people were killed in a single attack in America, or mm. the equivalent to 9,000 people dying in a single attack in, in Britain. I mean, it's just crazy. Now, Iran, Iran, no doubt, is behind the attack, no doubt, even without proof, because it made the conditions right where mm. this attack was possible. Do you... Sorry, Yuri, only so much time, but do you believe this time... You fought in the Six-Day War, didn't you? Yeah, I fought in the Six-Day War, liberating Jerusalem. Yeah, and was it as bloody as this one looks like it's going to get or not? James, listen, I've seen war when I was a teenager. I lived in Cyprus. And that time, in 57, 58, 59, the Turks were killing the Greeks. The Greeks were killing the Turks. The, uh, the Greeks were shooting uh, British soldiers in Lydra Street in Nicosia. I've seen brains exploding. I've seen brains oozing out of All skulls. Right, okay. but, I've nev but I've never seen anything like what happened here in, in this Hamas uh, ISIS attack. Unbelievable. Babies' heads were decapitated. Yeah. I, I can't, yeah. you know, it's too gruesome to go into this. But let me just tell you what's happening today. In the, in the bigger arena, James, of things, yeah. uh, as you know, President Biden has warned Iran against escalating the war between Israel and Hamas into a broader regional conflict. But Iran warned Israel of escalation if it failed to end aggression against Palestinians or against the Hamas ISIS. Hmm. Um, now, th this is crazy because the, the Iran's foreign minister said that other parties in the region were ready to act. Now, but we, we all know that there are two aircraft carriers, American aircraft carriers, moored nearby, um, and there are strike groups to operate together. The United States military, this is interesting. Uh, the United States military has just 11 in total and deploys only a few at a time. And we already have destroyers here and two aircraft carriers because the Americans are worried that this can actually develop 
into a kind of a huge Middle East war. And just now, what, uh, two days ago, uh, a, a United States Navy warship near Yemen mm -hmm. intercepted missiles that were meant for Israel. They were flying towards Israel. So Washington is on One. heightened alert. Wait, let me just finish. No, I'm glad uh, they're what, going to cut me off in a bit, but go on, go on. I'm finishing. Washington is uh, definitely on heightened alert for activity mm. by Iran-backed groups. Um, as, as you know, regional tensions soar uh, during this war. Um, Uri, one last thing. Why do people think that Palestinians and Israelis can't live together? Look, I, I will I, I will end this uh, this um, interview with you by saying this: I am connected to a charity called Save a Child's Heart. This is a huge charity. It's based in a Israel in an Israeli hospital, but it, it's it's working all over the world. So far, we have saved over seven thousand children from sixty eight countries, and believe it or not. Half of the children are Palestinians. Mm. Half of the 7,000 children that we save are Palestinians. And I, do I have to say any more? No. I want to ask you one last quick question before we're taken out of here, and that is, uh, what do you think of the BBC's coverage and the fact that they will not respond to Hamas as a terrorist organisation? What are your thoughts? Well, all you have to do, I mean, you know, check out my, my Twitter website. I placed, I, I created, uh, the B, I took the BBC logo and I created a ble bleeding hand on, the, um, on the, the logo of the BBC. Because I am shocked, shocked that they will not call the terrorists terrorists they you know they use the word militants and also that report that came out of the hospital that we bombed the hospital i mean james in in just like a minute and a half the terrorists knew that 500 people were di they died come on so it, it we now know we now know that the these were missiles mm. that just couldn't get through into Israel and they exploded right in the hospital uh, car park. Uh, so, so I'm outrageous at the BBC. Uri, thanks for your time. Hopefully we might catch up again if things haven't got better or even if they have next week. Um, after the break, we'll be talking to Ben Habib and uh, he wants to talk a lot about the migrant smuggler, smuggler so we'll go on with that. Um, and uh, if you want to give us a call in the meantime, 0344 499 1000.
Welcome back. I've just lost my flipping You're earpiece. You're discombobulated, aren't you? Yeah, I had to uh, yeah. just pop out. And, it's um, the James Wales show, starring me. Ash with Will Geddes. Zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Give us a ring. Have tried to take of hijacking it. That uh, virtual Ash, yeah. the James Wales. Well, Will yeah. Geddes, that talk TV. And, um, who was it? Was it uh, Paddy or somebody said, "Oh, why is Ash not sitting next to you?" Well, basically because he was getting flipping too close and too friendly, and that's why. So he's put him in his Keep own corner. Keep your company too. Is yeah, he done, you know, is he, it's because I want to sit next to Will. Oh, is he getting a bit feel secure? He's a bit handsy sometimes. Mm. Yeah, well, that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it is. Uh, right, if you'd like to join us, this is the uh, primetime James Whale Unleashed show. And, uh, Starring you, Ash. Oh, gosh, all the time, on and off. Um, so if you would like to uh, join us, all you have to do is pick up the phone, call us on. 03444991000. Very good indeed. Uh, text us at. A seven triple two. Text the word talk and your message. We're doing this because we used to do this all the time, and then we yeah. uh, forgot when all the. Forgot we did it. Yeah. Well, now we've remembered again. Yeah. Um, thank you very much indeed to Chris in Somerset. Loads of uh, texts coming in. Um, <laughs> as always, Mr. Well, you invite viewers to air their views, opinions. However, your manner and responses are quite frankly arrogant and rude just like they were many years ago. Well, I it's see, consistent, that's right. Yes, see, exactly, yes. <laughs> it's a brand. <laughs> I see 642, end of your phone number, we'll make a note of, <laughs> take it with me. So you've been listening um, all these years hoping you'd change? All these years. What an idiot you are. You know, I could do without listeners and viewers like you. But he obviously well. likes it. No, obviously, you know, that's yeah. why they... Listen, um, call us. <laughs> and, and, you know, the majority of my viewers and listeners are really intelligent, nice people, the sort of people you would want mm. to broadcast to. Mm. Um, and thank you all for uh, doing just that. And I often wonder why. Because oh, I've listened to you for years, and so you're the worst person on the TV and the radio. But I've still listened to you for years. Yeah. No, yeah. you're not the worst. Well, no, I'm not the no. worst. I can think of a couple, actually, I could mention, but that yeah. would probably be... Ooh. No, oh, Dangerous ground, dangerous ground. You think so? Why? <laughs> I mean, it's Jeremy Vine. Yeah. You know, won't be going on his show again. Really? Um, <laughs> there's a the story. <laughs> and there's... I, I even saw him on this station the other day, somebody going on about how these storms are caused by... Uh, oh, yeah. Climate... Yeah, yeah. These storms are quite so. normal. Terrible, quite yeah. normal for we are in autumn. Sake, wake up we're yes, in autumn we are in autumn you know some of these sort of climate change lovies get right under my skin mm. you want to argue about it you know the number <laughs> zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand give us a call uh right let's talk to mr ben habib ben good evening to you good evening jane um and sorry, will and will Hello, and ash ben. and uh, all of us here together in this happy little uh, party of ours uh you couldn't get in tonight why was that well, there is a little match going on in Asia. Oh, I knew I it! <laughs> I knew it. Come on, Ben, it starts at eight. Yeah. It starts at eight. <laughs> you were got you. I thought you were going to say, "Oh, there was a demonstration in the middle of town. I couldn't get through oh, it. Was. The weather was bad." <laughs> I can come up with any excuse. I know but you I think can. It is valid to watch England against South Africa. We've got to here. World got Cup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we um, all know what the result's going to be, Ben, don't we? I mean, it's a bit sad. Well, we all know what's going to happen. I thought England were going to win. Well, either will be... <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, you can just see England making a really good show yes. and then giving it away. You yeah. know, we've all been there, haven't we? We've seen a, mm. a, a committed, hard-fought uh, uh, game and then they kind of just throw it away. Mm. But I'm hoping that actually we'll take it over the line this time and we will have a victorious... England, and we will be playing the All Blacks in the, in the final. How, can, how yeah. is it that I couldn't care less about any sport whatsoever? Cricket, football, rugby, athletics. You like really? archery, though, don't you? Like archery, you love a bit of archery. Yeah, but um, only when I'm doing it. Yeah, um, I, I mean, rugby's the only one for me. Yeah, I have to say. Yeah, but yeah. that's because you like no, to grab. That's for, for um, Right, Ben, because he not long before uh, he want to get back in front of something else. Well, he's got twenty minutes. Yeah. Twenty minutes, Ben. We'll have no ratings. Get your beers today, ready. Welcome to all those of you like me who hate sport. Um, listen, Ben, let's talk about the small boats. I've said many times uh, and upset lots of people that those who come here in small boats and pay people smugglers to come here are criminals. And then people shout at me and say, oh, I don't know why you say, of course, they're escaping tyranny and everything else. They're not escaping anything. And they're paying uh, crooks and criminals to come here illegally. And why, if the law says we have to accept them, why haven't we changed the law? Okay, well, the first thing is you're absolutely right to call them criminals. 
They're not coming from war-torn countries. Their lives are not threatened. They're already safe in France. This is what the Open Border Liberal Brigade fail and refuse, rather, to recognize, that these people are safe. What they're doing is choosing the United Kingdom over France. And that's no surprise, because if you look at the spending figures, mm. we spend about £50,000 per annum on every illegal migrant that enters the UK. The French spend £5,000 per annum. And we know that optically as well, because there's lots of uh, photographs of the camps in which they stay when they're in France. And then, of course, they come over to the United Kingdom. They're put up in three or four star hotels. I think there was even a, there was a, a, a regulation passed or mooted, if not passed the other day, that it has to be at least a three star hotel. Can you imagine? Ah, and, so they get um, twice they the average wage. As soon as they get in the country, they're on twice the average wage of the normal British person, basically. So why are we Congress. doing it, Ben? We know all this. Why are we continuing to do this? There is a complete collapse of political will across all Western democracies in policing borders. Suella Braverman put it very well in her speech in Washington and then again at the Conservative Party conference, when she said there's an existential threat facing Western democracies by the overpowering of them through this migration, both b both illegal and legal, mm. by the way. You don't you know, say. The, the, numbers coming, the numbers coming across illegally dwarfed by the numbers coming across legally yeah. and is tearing at the social fabric of Western democracies. And you talked about difficulties getting to your studios today. You know, there was a 100,000 people demonstration in favour of Palestine. I'm not saying that Palestinians shouldn't be represented and they shouldn't be allowed the right to protest, but it's quite remarkable that in the United Kingdom, which is not at war with Israel, not at war with Palestine, mm. such numbers are out on the streets. And it's a sign that the social fabric of this country is falling apart. The multiculturalism, multiculturalism as Suella Braverman said, is not working. We haven't practiced it in a manner which is homogeneous, where m different cultures come together, they meld, new culture evolves and we go forward stronger for it ben. what we've got is multiple ethnicities operating in silos sorry i've kind of, kind of just gone on no but um, um you know, i just want to ask you this question relating to this uh it all seems to me to be the fault of religion um and i know a lot of people who their families are muslim they live in britain born brought up in britain they don't go to a mosque or anything. They don't consider that they're religious, but they have to say that they are. Now, Islam seems to, uh, unlike Christianity, seems to have this amazing control over people who have in some way some contact. Because you happen to be born in a country. I'm born in a so-called Christian country. I was baptised as a child. I had no say in it whatsoever. I don't go to church. I have no belief in this uh, idea and these stories in this book called the Bible. Why is it that if they could be a little more, uh, 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 what's the word that I want? Um, Understanding? Or no, no, no. I mean, if, if the Christian fraternity could be a little tougher and get us all having to go to church on a Sunday and shutting pubs like they used sure, to. It's not as passionate, that, is it? Um, they, mm. Yeah, they would. But I don't understand why we are allowing, in many cases, a religion to take over this country. And it looks to me as if, and I'm not having a go at individual, ordinary is Islamic people, Muslims who, you know, like Christians, just happen to call, or, or, you know, Catholics always call themselves Catholics, whether they go to Mass or not. We are in danger of one of these three organisations, or there are a few others as well, I suppose, trying to take over the world. Why are we allowing it to happen? All in the name of a being that may be there, may not be there, none of us know. Why? So I think one of the biggest problems or challenges, if you like, with Islam is that it seeks not just to be a religion, but uh, a legal system as well as a political system. And it, it, it's also the word of God. And so, it doesn't evolve. Unlike Christianity, which has moved with the time and modernized itself, actually to the point where now Welby almost undermines every aspect uh, that we might associate with being a Christian. Um, Islam has stayed rigid and it requires rigid adherence. And the, the and word of is God is above the law in, in, in religion. The, the word yeah. of God is, is, is um, unchallengeable. You have to just go with it. Okay. And, 
Of We're going to have to... Sorry to cut you off, Ben, but quite frankly, next time you need to come to the studio and we'll organise that very soon. OK. Uh, enjoy the rugby. Oh, gosh. Um, we're going to take a short break and then we come back. We're going to talk to a man uh, who's been chased down the street just recently by a bunch of Hamas supporters. Don't go away. Everybody. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining us. You're watching the Independent Republic of Mike Graham right here on Talk TV. Welcome to Friday Night with Nadine. Here on Primetime, we like to speak to the business people behind big moments. Good evening, I'm Piers Morgan, uncensored in New York City. Very impressive, well played. I'm three days into the job. What have I done wrong? Yeah. And your face just stared <laughs> out at me. Ah. Me and you conquer time. Who that wins? Happens. You. Do you know what I love about Talk today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. Are you actually speech rating for this? You like, I'm so rich. <laughs> but, uh, frankly, uh, I'm going to take the side of boozed up Brits against these pompous. What, you mean you're not going to support Mayor Jose no, Luis Sanz? No, I Sanz. am not. Stop pandying to the NIMBYs, to the naysayers, and the National Society for the preservation of the habitat of the lesser spotted newt. The problem lies in the bureaucracy. Yeah. It's that's almost what like those highly paid consultants don't really know what they're doing. First thing they teach you in weather school is never confuse dog walkers with doggers. Twitter, you sons of <laughs> <laughs> Can you please reinstate my account? Yeah. Thank you. There's a threat that you'd be worried about. <gasps> so are you saying that you're being overwhelmed, that you're inundated? We are really working hard for you. We're just asking patients to be patient with us. The one thing Labour would be terrified of if Boris Johnson zoomed back into full focus. Boris Johnson uh, isn't what he was. Most of them seem to have given up. Welcome to the talk. It's really great to be back. My little darlings. Mm -hmm. Kids think all they have to do is stay at home, be silly, mm -hmm. take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok then, yeah? Problem oh, solved. Yeah. Problem solved. Mom he's as up. fit as a butcher's dog. There you go. He's fit as a butcher's dog? Him. Oh, right. <laughs> but, but he's now middle class. Three of us here, Tess. <laughs> the knock-on effect is far larger than just CO2. Well, I nearly have empathy when I'm speaking to them. I know now you're probably going to boot me off the show after saying <laughs> this girl. <laughs> 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 Honestly, I'm not, I'm not a Swifty. Critics, I'd say me included, <laughs> got former PMs all over the joint saying things the last few days. They have indeed, <laughs> yeah. Great first show, you having fun? Oh, a ton of fun. Yeah. King Piers and King Cube. <laughs> I think it's only room for one king, man, you know what I'm saying? Just because they're skin folk don't mean they're kin folk. When I say I am God, you think I'm joking or not? You tell me. I'm not joking. Well, I'd rather do it on camera. No. no, 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 no. If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Why? We'll explain why. How do you feel about that influence that you have? You better be careful. We're coming for your children there, buddy. About my resignation, yes, I'm going to go. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. It was a fabulous dinner until <laughs> you two uh, mooned us. <laughs> Thank God for Talk TV is not only the home of common sense, it's the only place where you get the truth. OK, very good evening. Welcome to uh, the James... What are you doing? I just, you know, uh, scratching my cheek. The James... <laughs> you, you wonder why I've moved him over there. Uh, welcome to the James Whale Show with What's It in the Corner. Starring Ash. I wanted to get him wearing a hat with a D on it. Who was that, me? No, no, Ash. <laughs> uh, Will Geddes is my guest, of course, international security expert, but we don't ask him exactly what he does, but... Uh, uh, he does send people to look after yeah. quite well-known people in areas that are fairly difficult. A little bit cheeky. Security. A little um, bit salty. So if you want to say. text us, 8722, start your text with the word talk. Uh, we're on Twitter as well. You'll find us there. And uh, any other media you want, and you can phone, come on the air, 0344 499 1000. Um, obviously, the main news is what's happening in the Middle East at the moment. Uh, apparently, 100,000 people have been demonstrating here in the capital city mm. today um, and just shouting out. So, it, it, are these people the dimmest, stupidest people? 
they are shouting out slogans that you would have been arrested for and should have been arrested for if we didn't have such a useless police force mm. at the moment. I'm sorry, but whoever's running the police force, and the Home Office should take responsibility for this as well a lot, you're not doing a very Sir good Mark job. Sir Mark Rowley and the Home Secretary. And I suggest, thank you, I, font of all knowledge. I'm going to call you font of all knowledge. Thank yeah. you. Um, I suggest that we suddenly pick ourselves up and start behaving properly because we're not. And people running through uh, the streets of London calling death to the Jews mm. and various other disgusting things. Nobody is against, no sensible, serious person is against Palestinian people. I feel so sorry for the Palestinian people. They have got a bunch of scumbag terrorists behind them pointing their guns running their country and they can't do anything about it if you could get put it rid better, of James. the tourists put it the tourists the terrorists yeah. i'm so angry that's about what i'm going to try and do yeah. really. right let's talk to um a man who um has just been chased down the street i i missed his name vahid isn't it Vahid, Vahid Bashetti. Bashetti. um vahid good evening welcome to the program now tell us your story Yes, uh, thank you for having me here. Well, I was the hoping you'd come in, this. but apparently the, the, the trouble outside can is you, such. Can um, you hear me very well? And it's not a very good line. It also a, has a to long be delay, said. I think. Long, long delay, delay. Yeah. yeah. Um. So uh, tell me what happened to you. You've been chased down the street. Can you, can you hear me now? A very yeah, long delay. Yeah, just about. Go on. OK. Uh, well, last Last Saturday... Um, so I have been here with you know a few people for eight months. We're campaigning here uh, for uh, outside of foreign office for 241 days today. The first 72 days of this campaign was a hunger struck. I was a hunger struck. I lost 20 kilograms, and then I hospitalized on the day 72, and I was in two weeks in the hospital. I came back here again, and today is day 241 of. Our city what are you, protest. What are you demonstrating? This is delay is very long. I apologise to everybody. What is it? Hang on, hang on, hold on a moment. What is it you're demonstrating about? Exactly. We're asking our government to prescribe IRGC, Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the godfather of Hamas, Hezbollah, Jihad Islami, and other terrorist groups, the main supporter, the founder of Hamas. The founder of Jihad Islami. We've been campaigning for that for past eight months. So uh, I had a, a Ukrainian flag on top of my campaign because Ukraine is one of the IRGC's uh, victims. So since two weeks ago, when this barbaric attack of Hamas, the, uh, the baby of IRGC, uh, happened to Israelis, in Israel, we put the flag of Israel on top of our campaign. So we had lots of conflict, but last Saturday, three times we have been attacked by these, I don't call them pro-Palestinians, it is guys who they attack us three times, they're terrorists, they're pro-Hamas, uh, they're pro-Hamas, they're pro-Jihad Islami. Let's just they have a look, Let, let's just have a look at what happened to you, we've got a piece of film here. Okay, um, that just, that looked disgusting. But what it looked like to me was a bunch of uneducated young people who have no idea what they are arguing about. So Lots of them I probably in university. Happened. Three times, three times we have been attacked. And these guys, that's what I'm saying, they are terrorists. They, 
they attack us with a picture of Qasem Soleimani, with a picture of the supreme leader of Iranian regime. And they said, we come to kill you. And they said, you know, we, we are not going to go anywhere. And one of them, this is, this is unbelievable in 21st century, what we are witnessing in middle of London. One of them was walking for half an hour in front of our tent, and he was shouting, Jews are not allowed in our planet. Anyway, in the first attack, they ripped the Israeli flag, they gone, police came on time and saved us. About 100 police officers. Well, that's good there to were know. 100 police officers, they were here. They attack us again, second time, police was on time, but the third time they attack us, they, bro they push the police, they come into the street, and we were looking at those people, about 200 of them, they were, in a, they, they were storming to the street, and then few of them from the other side, they came and they broke the Israeli flag and they took it. I couldn't tolerate this anymore because I, knew, I know the nature of these terrorists. They were going to take the flag in front of my camp and burn it. That was outrageous. I couldn't, that's... Have there been any subsequent the arrests? Values, Have there been any subsequent arrests, Fahid? all the values that I believe. So I ran after them. The clip that you showed, I ran after them. I got the flag back and we all witnessed what happened. If police wasn't on time, I wouldn't be here. Will you, the moment I was standing will, there, will, I thought it's my last, last day. Okay, last question. Will you be demonstrating some more? Because quite frankly, I don't think you should. Say that again. But are, you gonna, are you going to demonstrate some more or not? Yes or of no? Of course, we are here. And today, of course, okay. All we right. are here. And I, as you see... Yep. I had my two Israeli yep, I've flags seen them. up there. Listen, because the line is disappearing, thank you very much indeed. And uh, I'm sure we will talk again. Uh, it's always difficult when we have a bad line, but I do yeah. want to get these bits out. Will finally before the end of the hour. Yeah. Um, what is got They look like a bunch of students hmm. who don't seem to be very educated about anything at all. Well, it's, it's not, you know, it's pretty common that in most demonstrations they're going to be those that are just going along for the S's and G's. You know, they just want to have a bit of fun and, mm. uh, and or are anarchists who want to disrupt it and push their own agenda. Well, I think they would have attacked him physically if there weren't any police. Yeah, I mean, you have to take, uh, you have to just give credit to the police. And... They did a great job there, yeah. uh, basically, uh, you know. Um, but it'd be interesting to see why, have, has there been subsequent arrests of these people? No idea. No That's idea. We didn't, shame we didn't find out from the guests. I don't actually yeah. know how they can arrest them anymore because we haven't got any spaces left in now. No, prisons. they're turning them out yeah. and uh, pushing but them back up. Can we the just a slight bit of education to people? I know. Yeah. It may well be that because of the Balfour Agreement, which is um, yeah. what happened to uh, demonstrate. Did you just say I've only got four seconds left? Or, uh, That's not Belfour, very long. Bel what is the. Balfour Agreement. The Balfour Declaration. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. Uh, I thought that's Lord what Alpha. I said. Um, it could have been perhaps done differently, but mm. we are where we are. Well, it had to be a Jewish state, didn't it? There was 800,000 Jews in the Middle East, and there had to be somewhere for them to go as yeah, well. At the this time, is, there the should have been a, a Palestinian state founded as well. well there, was. There? there was. Yes, there was. Yeah. So what... Well, there were. They don't want the Jews there. Them. That's basically it. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, I, d I think you'll find the Palestinians will live quite happily together oh, I now. I think so. I don't think. Well, then there's no end to it, Ash. Well, I don't think you're they're Jewish, but you. So well, I mean, it? Hamas uh, wanted peace, but it was all a pretense to uh, catch them in a. a Hamas a just need to be got rid yeah, of. They, they, yeah, were, they were talking peace for the last year and a half to to cover this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they pretend to do want peace, but they actually don't. No, absolutely. So how can you deal? With you got a big, you got a bigger, bigger, bigger problem here, though, which is you know what your guest did actually mention, which was about the Iranian Revolutionary mm -hmm. Guard and the mm -hmm. fact that Iran is not only financing Hamas, but they're also financing Hezbollah. Right. Um, can there ever be out of Libya? Can, can there ever be, be guys? Just a minute. Yeah. Can there ever be a solution to this? I mean, Ash says no. But there has to be a solution, or this will continue and envelop the world. If you were there, you, you, your security guy, I think there you, could be a solution. Just a minute, you've been in 
to well these places. You fought in on these that places, one, but James. what would you do to sort it out? I mean, well above my pay grade on that one. I, I, the, the only thing I can see is there has to be eradication of Hamas. Absolutely, as a terrorist group, yeah. they're, they're, you know, Al Qaeda came out well, in support mustn't of their mix attack. The Palestinian people. No, 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 no. absolutely. But uh, we're doing. We, there, it needs to be a unified effort between Israel and Palestine to eradicate Hamas. Yeah. Hamas are not a benefit to Palestinians whatsoever. But what we're seeing is, which is even more worrying, is, as I just mentioned, Al-Qaeda came out, made a very public statement in support of Hamas's mm. barbaric attack on Israel. We How are can seeing a join-up... any human being actually support what they did? How can any human being support that? There's a lot of evil people out there, James. And how can anybody go and shoot, you know, not to... Not to mention the, the disgusting things that some yeah. people have seen, <clears throat> but just to shoot aimlessly into somebody's home, where there are no, children... Yeah, no, I, an eight-year-old girl saying, who's screaming yeah. for her life, going, don't shoot me, and they just yeah, shoot I'm, No, no, I'm... I'm but it's again like terrible, Islamic, but just but it's ordinary. Like Islamic State. How can anybody go and just shoot? <clears throat> I mean, we're going to see we're going to see a join up. We've seen Islamic State join up with Al Shabab. We've seen them join up with uh, Boko Haram. We've seen them controlling. One Libya. last word, yes or no? Will Israel go in yes. to the? Yes. We'll be back after the news at uh, eight o'clock. Hope you could join us then. More of your calls as well. Thanks. For... <laughs> Straight talking, no nonsense, and annoying all the right people. This is Talk TV. He's back, and he's uncensored. Debating the breaking news and talking to the biggest names. Piers Morgan is live every week with a host of stars. Uncompromising, unmissable, and uncensored. And remember, if you're thinking it, we're talking about it. Piers Morgan, uncensored, Monday to Thursday at 8 p.m. on Talk TV. This is Talk TV.
This is Talk TV. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> and this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Look, I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on Talk TV and Radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a gun. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on Talk TV. Um, right, OK. Um, sorry, you were saying something, Lizzie. He's just a photographer and his balance has come from Kent. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. Are we on air now? A favour to get it in the... We're on Action! We're on air, aren't we? Because the red lights are oh. all on. I know. Right, you come in, you upset everything, take my attention away from the fact we're on air. I, just I can't in. believe it. I, I, knew, can't. I knew something was Hold up. On. I can't I believe just it. Walked in. I put, yeah, the you walked in. You walked in, in the not joint. paying any attention. Actually, Welcome back in. to the James Whale Show Unleashed. Starring Ash. Starring Ash. Nine nine one thousand. Uh, the number. The lines are open. What? Don't. You, why'd you do that all I the can't. time? I'm not. I haven't done anything. I'm not used to not hearing myself. Oh, could you sit up? Sorry. Please. Yeah, I've got me things in. I can't. Why I did I move all this Because we're too many people squeezed it's in the true, show actually. here. Yeah. I mean, I don't know where you'd put him now, to be honest. Right, listen, welcome back to the programme. Ash is over here, as he always is, but not here, thank goodness, or there, depending. Um, Lizzie is here, of course, she joins us for uh, her take on some of the news stories today. And it looks like we're going to have a bit of trouble, I'll tell you why, because uh, trick, uh, trick or treating, um, a number of people in this country, 56% of people, pretend not to be home when people come round. And the problem is that in many areas, probably not in the lovely area you live in, but many areas you get thugs coming round, you open the door to a bunch of young thugs, mm. and then they say, if you don't give us money, we're going to paint all over your ass and do all And it's not a British thing. tradition, it what comes from America. What accent tradition is either. that? What accent That's where he that? grew up. Do you want to stay on the programme? Because yes. I'm in such a mood. You will go. OK, trick-or-treating is the worst thing ever. If a parent takes the little children it's dangerous, around, actually. Fine, if that's what you want to do. But young thugs of 14 or 15 come knocking on your doors. Yeah. Hello, sweetheart, oh, how are you? Yeah, true, actually. <laughs> Hold on a minute. It's, it's one night of the whole year. I don't it's want Halloween. It. It's an I American hate... thing. Let it's me an talk. American thing. Can I we speak? don't do that. No, I don't right, think Let me you talk can. for a minute. I think don't you can go. Don't keep banning stuff. Don't keep no, banning things. Why are you banning stuff, James? But you're is, not into banning stuff. You know, if you're an old elderly lady on your own... I own. am into banning stuff. And if you don't want to open the door, don't open it. You're like, so the volume up. If you don't open the door, then they graffiti over your house, they yeah. throw eggs at your house. Well, it's worse in America, Halloween. Have you seen Halloween in America? Why are you just well, saying you want to have it and you, then you're well, saying I it's love worse it. in America? I love, I love Halloween. But I love we used to have turnips. It's probably it. another excuse for you to get a cameraman to take yeah. a picture of you and put it in a paper somewhere. And what's wrong with that? I can think of many, many things. Yeah. Well, no, it's Where a fun is your night. Cameraman she's tonight? not spreading happiness. She's annoying us. <laughs> I'm not. We do not. Have you ever been out trick or treating with your boys I've when they were young? I loved it. Loved it. Good. Loved every you minute. You wouldn't if you knocked on my door. <laughs> yeah. no, but it's I'd fun. set the bichons. Right. Let's talk about shoplifting. Yeah. I'm not suggesting. You How do long it, have you been doing way. it, Lizzie? <laughs> no, uh, it's only five. Someone's got phones on. That's not mine. Uh, it's it's gone up twenty five percent. Um, in the last year. No, we have a shoplifting epidemic mm. and very sadly, my friend is actually a security guard at one of the main stores mm. and he said it's not worth it because the, the people that are shoplifting then yeah. done for them afterwards. Well, what's the point of having a security guard? Exactly. But when you do and see the security guard... You just put hand. your friend out of work. Well, no, but you know, the, the fact is they're scared. There's nothing they well, can do about it. Well, not very good security it. guard, then. And sadly, the, the law is if you... If now, if you steal under £200... They yeah. let you off. They don't want yeah. you to I don't understand this. It's a free-for-all. It's a free-for-all. And organised criminals now are doing mm -hmm. it because of that. You're quite happy to have people you've never heard of knock on your door. It's fun. That's fun for uh, sweets. It might very be fun, but in steam. many, many areas of this country, it isn't fun. It's a serious subject. And people actually, as you come up 
to uh, trick-or-treating, people actually live in fear. No, it's different to firework night. I don't like because it scares dogs and and and, and cats and animals. And me, and it, I don't, that, like, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like all these. Now you can let fireworks off any time you want. You got people selling. Basically, so I agree with you on this. Thank you. Basically, selling explosives. Yeah. And apparently they're not supposed to be let off after 11 or something. It gives they go so, through soldiers, the night it gives them flashbacks. An old yeah. man once killed his wife in his bed on firework night because he had a flashback, an 80-year-old yeah, yeah. old man did. Yeah. That's awful. That I mean, that that fireworks should be banned. Yes. That, and why are we celebrating, you. celebrating a terrorist who tried to get into yes. Parliament. Yes. Yeah. Guy Fawkes, exactly, oh, James. Yeah. I totally agree with you with that. And Good. it scares the hell out of stay. lovely animals. I can stay now. Well, we you. burn him now, so but we're not really celebrating him, are Shoplifting, we? we have an epidemic. It's a real worry. And they yeah. think they can go... You know what was awful? I I've was, sorted it. Was in it. boots in the King's Road of yeah. Atlanta, the chemist. Well, shops are going to close and now. Big chains are going to close some of their stores. Someone was just putting them randomly in his pockets. And Apparently, out. co-op lose half their profits in shoplifting a year now, and they're going to close some of their shops. All right, do you want to know what we do about it? I've written about it in my column. You arrest the everyone, the broken oh, windows policy. Oh, it doesn't matter the amount, you've just got to arrest them. In the Daily Express, Monday, page 13. Tuesday's <laughs> chip paper. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> this, is, this, this is serious. This is what we do with the people that we can't put in prison. Obviously, the dangerous ones, we lock away. But the ones who didn't pay the fine or they didn't do this or they tried in... You know, the ones who didn't do anything that was physically... We actually bring them back properly, not on a chain gang, although I wouldn't be opposed to it myself, mm -hmm. but we have a chain of these people and they clear up the motorways of this country, which yeah. are disgusting. We have them down the middle of the motorways. When yeah. they're doing it, we'll obviously have to slow the traffic up. They're in towns, cities and villages. They stay in tents. Like, like, do you remember Sheriff Arpaio? Yeah. He became Judge Arpaio, then he became Mayor Arpaio of yeah. Arizona. He had tent city. They'd go in the tents and they'd break rocks. And none of this... And they never did it again. They never committed those these, misdemeanours again. These people who get a community service order... Yeah. And never turn up. Mm. Never turn yeah. up. Break rocks. But they know they're not going to get punished. That's why they well, do they, it. Well, then the punishment is going to be sorted out. Yeah. You get jail for maybe two, three years or something. You don't go to prison. You go and mm. you start helping to make this country mm. a better place. You clean off the graffiti from mm. walls. I My mate it. lived in Arizona. He, he had. A, he knew someone who got six weeks in tent city and he said he was a changed bloke. He never committed anything yeah. again. But look, our prisons are overrun. There's, so there's it's no a good, room. It's tents. a good way of doing it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. They're doubling up. They're okay. crumbling down. Yeah. Now, let's talk about my favourite subject. What's that, man? Greta Thunberg. Oh, yeah. oh. I know her real name. Is it? Yes. What is it? Greta. Oh, right. Greta. I thought she, that was a stage name? name. I thought you were saying Th that's a stage name. Greta Thunberg, isn't oh, it? Right, yeah. Well, she's been yeah. arrested, by the way. Yeah. yeah, I know she's been arrested. Has she been arrested protest. again? Again, she's been arrested. She's not a child anymore. The reason why... She's, she's 20. Yeah. This is the only way she makes press, though. This is the only way. If she gets arrested... But this time she's doing um, environment and just stop oil or something like yeah. that. She's not doing... No, she's doing something different to what she was doing before. She's put herself up there as a, a sort of professional... Protester. Pro protester. I mean, she must have made a few quid out of all this. Yeah. But you see, uh, the thing is, the only way they make press is if they do something, you know, like at Wimbledon, doing the stupid stuff, or throwing orange over buildings, yeah. orange paint. And it is absolutely... I mean, I think she's become a laughing stock, actually. Well, she oh, is, yeah. but she's costing she us was a anyway. lot of money. Mm. And, and apparently she lives in Dorset. Why has she been allowed after her, uh, you know, to well, come yeah. and live here? A criminal shouldn't be But why is no. she living here? That's a very good point, James. Yeah. Why is she know, living man. here? I'd like to investigate that. Well, I mean, loads of criminals. I mean, the guy who was uh, the um, Ayatollah Khomeini got to write the report to, to for um, you know, the author who recently got attacked, Salman Rushdie. Yes. He lives in Harrow. Why do, we, why do all these crazy people live in this country? But the the thing with Greta, she she loves PR. She wants fame, and yeah. I just think this is another attention seeking way. And the is. only way she can get in the papers is by being arrested. So she's very happy with this outcome. Yeah. Well Which done, Greta. Sad. Well yeah. done. But I mean, um, how? Why are we listening to? I know she's an adult well, now. We're not. And and quite frankly, the people who were trying to hold up that bus taking the uh, yeah. illegals mm. to uh, Portland. Those people should be locked up. Well, no, those are the ones. Get them out there. 
Yes, tied I, up, breaking rock to each other. But the driver now is apparently being done for dangerous driving. Yeah, well, that's the thing you aren't allowed. That's to the that's stupid. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. Because I thought to. he drove very, very seriously. Well, yeah, but you're not allowed to drive into, you know, even a little bit. Yeah. Well, but would you do that, right. James? If you saw them in front of you and you were wanting your hospital appointment or something, would you? I what probably would. You do? would. Well, there was that woman with the Range Rover. Would. Do you remember a few years ago? I'd probably ago. be inside by now. I bet yeah. they'd find space for me. Yeah. Well, you, you're all right in there. You get your PlayStation. You, you know, there's a new reality sports. TV show called Banged Up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. And I've said no. Right. Anyway, um, thank you very much indeed. Let's talk about uh, My something else. My friend Sid else. Owen's in it. He's going to come on the show. Is he? Yes. You always say your Rick friend's going to come on the show. Rick 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 <laughs> well, but it looks, before, it looks before very... Before you say he's going to come on the show, yeah. You have a meeting with me and the producer. Oh, okay. So don't yeah. start getting on my nerves I again. He's all right. I've met him a couple like of times it. a couple of nights out. He's a Is good he all right? Lad. Yeah, he's a good he's lad. A good, he's a nice funny guy. bloke. All right. I, I, it would be informative what prison life well, should about be like. That. I think so. I One forgot, escape recently. I forgot where we're going now. What uh, we Peter going Hitchens is in it. Oh, yeah. We're talking about Captain Tom's. Just before we do that, apparently trick-or-treating began in Ireland and Scotland in the 16th century. Well, it's about time it was stopped. Um, right, Captain Tom. Captain Tom's charity to be shut down oh following the scandal. Oh, my What a surprise. I am what, so surprised. What do you think of that with the... I mean, Peace Morgan had the exclusive interview here mm. on Talk TV, mm. but I think... What a, what a shame. What, well, what a Piers had the exclusive legacy yeah, from legacy And from uh, the I, she admitted pocketing 800000 uh, and obviously, either she's a bit stupid, a bit thick, and I hope that's probably the reason. Um, and she's closed the charity down now because they have done nothing but smear that lovely guy's yeah. reputation. They should be ashamed of themselves. And the two of them did into. I don't. I don't even think they realise how ridiculously stupid they look and how appalling. They have behaved. They, they, and the memory of Captain Tom's yeah. been, been but uh, the man soiled. That he raised, and the sadness is, the actual neighbour was the one to dob her in it, because she was building these spars, and it, it disturbed her view, and she didn't have, mm. you know, the she didn't even ask she wouldn't if let she her could use do the spar it. as well. Yeah, no, she wouldn't let her use mm. the spar. Well, but, and when they know. found out all this was going on, they said, "Oh, everybody in the village can use it." Oh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, you can't build. Without planning permission, whether you agree with the planning permission or not, you have to get planning permission. Yeah. Or you're going to have to tear it down. Exactly. And imagine you being her neighbour. You, you've got this lovely view of trees and <coughs> But it's not just that. It's buying it with the... Building I mean, where was the money cross. from? The money was from... Well, that, yeah, yeah, so that's the, the more serious bit, than the Yeah, but they were permission. building it for people who yeah, yeah, the charity yeah. was apparently... Yeah. Apparently. But yeah. Like the, the bus in Scotland, it was, the, it was the political bus rather mm. than... It was always parked outside Sturgeon's mother's... But I don't know how she sat there and looked peers in the eyes to try and Because I think a bit stupid. Maybe. A lot stupid. I mean, because I saw the interview and I thought, I can't believe you're actually saying this. Do you mm. actually think people are going to feel sorry for you? Do you actually think people are going to agree with you? She has done an enormous amount of harm. But we all, we know, Captain Tom was a legend and there he mm. was. And what, what a, a sad, you know, we all mm. praised him, I loved support, him. Giving it I to the NHS, that's just giving it to the Exchequer. They should have had specific charities, like, you yeah. know, your charity. Because mm. all they were doing was handing it to the government. It would just get in with all the taxes. They should have specified, go to this cancer charity, that cancer charity, the yeah. 30 million. I'm sorry, yeah. I think he'd be turning in his grave if he knew. I'm sure he would. Yeah. I'm That's absolutely sure he say. would. Yeah, but I think this is... Uh, it points maybe to people who do... Lots of people who go out, you see people on the street with collecting boxes now, and quite... I don't give to collecting boxes because... I don't know where it's actually going. Well, when no, you look at a charity, look how much the CEOs are paid first, because they're often paid under a thousand, two hundred thousand. Yeah. So yeah. your charity yeah. is going to pay these uh, management. Talking about huge salaries, I am so pleased to see. Let's say something positive. Uh, I don't know that we have time to talk about it this week, but definitely next week. About the government are now saying the NHS have got to get rid of all their diversity offices yeah. on nearly a hundred thousand a year, ninety six thousand something or other uh 240 of them and the nhs wow. are trying to oh no we need we need no. it to attract people to work because they say us. people leave because of racism it's absolute exactly. load of and i found bunker. out in my local hospital they're paying forty thousand for a, a vicar to be there yeah. 
And I'm just thinking, why? Why? Well, they've always had that hospital, haven't they? They've had no, the, but you're um, going to have the yeah. chapel in there. They normally do it free, don't they? No. You know, it's part of your parish. Paying 40,000. No, you don't need to pay 40,000 yeah, to somebody. It's part of the parish. No, they should be doing don't. it. It's a religion what's charging for it. Well, you don't. And this is the problem that I have. I'm not a religious person at all, and it annoys me. But I do let Ken come on. You know, we and then Ken. shout at him. Yeah. yeah, we do not love. Why do you say stupid because things? Because like I enjoyed that? his company when I met him outside the studio. Well, we do love and he Ken, showed me a bit of the. Right you really problem. are beginning to worry me. <laughs> you know, no. you really are beginning to worry. And me. And he loves us as well. He always says how he loves us. You are beginning to. You're beginning to get very strange about religion, and that worries me. Listen, James, we're all allowed to. She was brought up by nuns. She was brought up by nuns. You're allowed to to have your. But, you know, quite frankly, it's destroying the world religion. Let me just tell you something, though, about the NHS. It needs a total rehaul. In fact, I think we have to have a whole different dynamic. The then, yes, I'm very good well, at that. Don't. We need to just getting rid of and adopting a German or French we system. We do need a French German. I totally yeah. agree with you. And it isn't working. And it's like. But it's a sacred cow. It's like hmm. a shrine, it isn't it? Yeah. It's can a I, service. Can I finish it's on killing one story while we're doing this before the break? Um, could I say to Mr. Will Young, au revoir. Well, no, goodbye. So it's so good to know you're going to leave the country because, quite frankly, I couldn't care less and I don't think anybody else can. And he's got that song, I think I better leave right now. I we could play that as he's right leaving. Now. Yeah, can we play that now? <laughs> and when you sat down next to him, he stood up and walked off in sorrow, didn't he? He snubbed yeah. you. He snubbed he's... James Wales. No, he doesn't yeah. like the James I, Wales. I, I he hates was... James Wales. Why does he hate I don't know, you? I don't think he does. He's not even rational I, to it. He just I, really I, hates it. Irrational hatred. He's, uh, no, that's ridiculous. Well, he walked off as soon as you sat down. I was sitting, I went to sit in my favourite place to watch the world go by. Yeah, yeah. And he was sitting there mm. and I sat down and he got up and went. <gasps> I think I better leave right now again. I think I yeah. always like right to leave, leave, apparently the story is, which we jumped ahead, uh, is that if the Conservatives win, then he is uh, he's going to leave the country. So good on you, oh. Will. See us. There is a chance the Tories will win. That'll be well, boost their uh, well, boost go. their figures. Well, if Nigel Farage gets in, I think he. I've told him tonight to go to the Conservative Party. I have just spoken to him. I and said, what's he go. saying? Is he going to become this Conservative well, he leader? Said, thank you for the Good. offer. Well, thank you. Well, yeah, somebody said, and I agree that if Nigel had become a member of the Conservative Party and become a Conservative MP, I think he'd be in line for Prime Minister or even be But wouldn't they minister? gang up Hold on it like they did, did with Boris? Did you not see the reception he got at the at the Conservative yeah, yeah. Party yeah. conference? Yeah. Huge one. He was the star yeah. of it, Huge. wasn't he? And he but wasn't even a Tory. the idiots in the Conservative Party, the ones who are frightened of losing their jobs, are now trying to uh, talk in everybody's ear in the media about how they're thinking of getting rid of the current Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. And if you do that, you just show yourselves up to be a bunch of out-of-touch old idiots, to be honest. Yeah. Mm, I mean, it really is quite ridiculous. Well, I think Nigel would be a great asset to them, and, they, they, and, he, and yeah. they need him. Well, he's a great speaker, and he is a conviction politician, which you don't really get much of these no. days. Do you? No, you don't really get. OK, thank you very much indeed, yeah. guys. Coming up in a moment, after the break, we're going to talk about the 75th, 75 years ago, that the, the uh, Windrush came to this country. Very good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. We're here! Good morning, everybody. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining us. You're watching the Independent Republic of Mike Graham right here on Talk TV. Welcome to Friday Night with Nadine. Here on Primetime, we like to speak to the business people behind big moments. Good evening. I'm Piers Morgan, Uncensored, in New York City. Very impressive. Well played. I'm three days into the job. What have I done wrong? Yeah. And your face just stared <laughs> out at me. Ah. <laughs> me and you, conquer time. Who Bye. wins? You. <laughs> Do you know what I love about tour today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. Are you actually speech rating for this? You like, I'm so rich. <laughs> but, uh, frankly, uh, I'm going to take the side of boozed up Brits against these pompous. What Spaniards. you mean? You're not going to support Mayor Jose no, Luis? No, I am Sanz. not. Stop pandying to the NIMBYs, to the naysayers, and the National Society for the Preservation of the Habitat of the Lesser Spotted Newt. 
The problem lies in the bureaucracy. Well, it's almost like those highly done. paid consultants don't really know what they're doing. The first thing they teach you in weather school is never confuse dog walkers with doggers. Twitter, you sons of <laughs> <laughs> Can you please reinstate my account? Yeah. Thank you. There's a threat that you'd be worried about. <gasps> So are you saying that you're being overwhelmed, that you're inundated? We are really working hard for you. We're just asking patients to be patient with us. The one thing Labour would be terrified of if Boris Johnson zoomed back into full focus. Boris Johnson uh, isn't what he was. Most of them seem to have given up. Welcome to the talk. It's really great to be back. My little darlings. Mm -hmm. Kids think all they have to do is stay at home be silly, mm -hmm. take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok then, yeah? Problem oh, solved. Yes. Yeah. Problem solved. Bon he's as up. fit as a butcher's dog. There you go. He's fit as a butcher's dog? Him. Oh, right. <laughs> but, but he's now middle <laughs> class. Three here, Tess. <laughs> the knock-on effect is far larger than just CO2. I nearly have empathy when I'm speaking to them. I know, I know, you're probably going to boot me off the show after saying <laughs> this girl. <laughs> <but> <laughs> I'm I'm Honestly, I'm not, I'm not a Swifty. Critics, I'd say me included, <laughs> got former PMs all over the joint saying things the last few days. They have indeed, <laughs> yeah. Great first show, you having fun? Oh, a ton of fun. Yeah. King Piers and King Cube. <laughs> I think it's only room for one king, man, you know what I'm saying? Just because they're skin folk don't mean they're kin folk. When I say I am God, you think I'm joking or not? You tell me. I'm not joking. I'd rather do it on camera. No, 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 no. no. If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Why? We'll explain why. How do you feel about that influence that you have? You better be careful. We're coming for your children there, buddy. About my resignation, yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. It was a fabulous dinner until you two uh, mooned us. <laughs> Thank God for Talk TV. It's not only the home of common sense. It's the only place uh, where you get the truth. Big opinions. You can't be concerned about these people coming because that makes you a nasty racist. Big guests and the big issues of the day. Join me, Julia Hartley Brewer, every day at 1 p.m. when I'll be tackling the stories that affect real people's lives. These people were effectively, you know, tried and convicted by the court of public opinion. When did we stop the presumption of innocence? Talk TV. If you're thinking about it, we're talking about it. Okay, uh, very good, Amy. He's had to move back for a bit. No, I did insist on it. My uh, lawyers have got in top contact. He'll be gone after this segment, don't worry. Uh, right, welcome back to the James Whale Show Unleashed. Prime time on a Saturday evening, 7 until 10. Um, Starring We are Ash. about to talk to... Could you start to look over there somewhere? Um, <laughs> um, what's going on? Oh, it's nice, actually. Yeah, that's better. Good. Um, but, honestly, I can't do this with him there too long. Sorry. Right, OK. Lizzie is still here. I want to introduce you to an old friend of mine, Peter Straker, who is coming. We're going to talk about the Windrush. Uh, it's not the Steve all... Wright show. Yeah. They're all clapping in there and everybody can hear it, but you can't. Thank can you. you. He's, just, uh, he's, he's just had an operation. Careful of that on the microphone. <laughs> he probably please. can hear it because it's not very good soundproofing. Yeah. Uh -huh, um, right, before we do anything else, I've dug this up. I've known you. How long have I known you? A very long years? time. Uh, we we well, discussed this in the, in, the, in, in, the, in, in, in the 70s, when yeah. I just, the yeah. end of 70s. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't even born. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Um, and this, <laughs> Nobody uh, else was. if you look at the screen, we've got, we've got video of this. Yeah. Have a look at this. This is Peter. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius. Aquarius. Enough. Enough. Aquarius. That's it. Now, Carrie, it's time to go home. To be honest, already. I'm going to get rid of all these people for next week's show. Um, okay, Peter, welcome to the program. Peter, first, you. Do you, have you seen that before? Yes, I. Uh, so, yes, he did it. Your mouth so incredible. hanged open. Well, yes, yes, it was a long time ago. What year? Do you know, it was 55 years ago. 65. <gasps> 1965. No, no, it was no, 1965. No, it was 1968, 69. <gasps> That's when the show opened. 55 years. Born. 
were... So was that hair? Was it, was it, that was hair? Hair. Yeah. it was called hair. It was called hair. And okay. I still got a little. Can I ask, were they naked in that show? Not all the time. He was. Not all the time. No, he wore, wore a loincloth. <laughs> the interesting <laughs> thing is, I got into a lot of trouble on the BBC once interviewing many, many years oh, ago. When, and, uh, <laughs> well, we won't go there anyway. <laughs> Fluella uh, Benjamin well, was in it, wasn't she? Fluella Benjamin as well. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Fl yeah. Dame Fluella, Fluella Benjamin. Yeah. Dame. Yes. yes. Yeah. No, Baroness. Baroness, no. Yeah. Get it right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so the, all those... And you've been working and doing that, and uh, now we're talking a bit about the seventh anniversary of the Windrush. You didn't come over on the Windrush, it has to be said. No, I came during the, the same period. I came in yeah. the 50s, um, but the Windrush officially started in 1948, and it officially ended in 1971 or 72. Where did you live when you came in? I lived in a small, in a very tiny flat, a two-bedroom flat, with my two brothers and my maternal grandmother area. and my mother in Kilburn, what's oh. called Kilburn. Because Brixton is where, that's why Brixton became Black Air, because a lot went to Brixton and Clapham, didn't they? And a few there. went to, to Kilburn as well, yeah, with yeah. the Irish and the no Irish dogs. No Irish. dogs allowed. Oh, no, we no, no. And, and strangely, no we got dogs. it. I live here. No dogs, no, and dogs Irish. no gypsies. No Irish and no, no dogs. Irish. And no we dogs. have and no him, blacks. This is what I wanted to say. I was going to come to it later. We, we have improved greatly in our race relations, but it seems to be getting worse at the moment. Now, we've known each other for, as we said before, 50 years, since the 70s. Yes. Have you found that it has got worse or not? I think certain things have got worse, and it's very difficult looking back. I have to, and I'm being quite honest about it. Looking, looking back, I have a different view on, on life. At the time when I was here, that was the way it is. Yeah. Looking back, you think of man's inhumanity to man, mm. and it's particularly easy to look now. Back. But now it, it's it's got worse. But there are also many reasons why things have got worse. We have this thing, these things, these these things mm. which have mm. which social media they, they I just, wonder what you were looking for social yeah, that's all that was all but in the same as you had like the national front and that sort of thing but actually black and white kids hung out together in the 80s and 70s yeah. and yeah. that seems to have changed quite a no, lot no no well some still do it but it, i know some I, do but I, I it's think, less i think also journalism and 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 the way it's it's, it's, it's polarized because there's certain there, there's certain things that and it suits the press or, and whoever is putting out information to have the polarized because it makes news mm. yes it's much and that more actually interesting. causes the nobody talks about anything that happens yeah, yeah. that's good well no that's we people end don't up want to say that talking that's very true but a news program will be I boring if I it won't was say all good it. news i won't say i'm trying not to swear news is boring and good news isn't it yes do you do you think that it seems to me that a lot of kids now are not learning properly the history of how we came to where we are mm. now and that and and that that seems to be one yeah, of the I agree and problems. I sound I'm going to sound terrible but I mean a lot of people don't know how to speak <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's very true. I, I, it's just, it's, it's just, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's not it's, nice to say that about us. Well, age. no, no. It's what just, do you mean? Exactly like that. Just yeah. communicating. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, communicating. I, I could get in today just, with protests <laughs> in London, and I'm wondering whether they really know what they're protesting about. No, they don't. I know. So uh, it's, it's, it, but it, we don't have time to really debate it properly. Mm. So we just, I'm saying things off. The, People like, don't talk. Kids don't talk because they're on their machines. So no, they're losing so, that skill. A lot of kids do talk. I, I know a lot. I, I, I know. Yeah, and, they talk rubbish. A lot of people. No, not all of them. Your kids might. Oh, no. Shall we? Listen, I, let's, I have a, let's have a little light relief, because here's... Um, Not now. Here's, for goodness oh sake. God, it's only 8 I know this is a slightly less serious bit than the last bit, but, I mean, honestly... I was being serious. You were being vulgar. Wasn't that That's your mind. I like vulgar. I like a bit of vulgarity, especially on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I haven't had a drink yet. Elton John song? <laughs> I haven't had a drink yet. Let, let's show this. This is... Um, a record that you released back in the 70s and uh, I think it was in the 80s Midnight Taxi Dancer Late Night Late Night no Late Night Taxi Dancer yes, no, what did I say Midnight Midnight yes. at Late the, Night Taxi Dancer mm. at the Oasis and uh, this is um, this is great this w you redid this and it came out last year and went very high in the yeah uh, we, we did it with a, with a band from Italy and they, they asked me if I if they could sing it with me and they, so we, we redid it and called Late Night Taxi Dancer the Italian Job mmm <laughs> well it's the dawning we, of the stop age it now stop it do you know that was one of the, the night, mm. best songs it was uh, it was a hit yeah it was um, uh, and then you sort of Went off around the world and did other things. He was things. a TV yeah. star in Connie yeah. with Stephanie you, Beecham. How do you remember all that? I remember that? Connie the show because mm. I watched it. Stephanie we learned about it in history yes. at school. And how was we she? had lunch today. 
Yeah. Oh, Did wow. you? We had Saturday, 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 all the time. Uh, not, oh, I uh, love that. Other things, but anyway. <laughs> but Peter, you've got so many famous. Who's your favourite famous person? Uh, I, I don't have a... Uh, you don't have a favourite? No, no, or just, someone that it, you'd what, Whatever have... you were doing at the time, they, 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 it was great. Well, he was very friendly for some time with Mr Freddie Mercury. Yes. yes and uh, he appeared on a couple of Freddie's uh, videos, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Well, the big one was The, the Great Pretender. Yeah. yeah. And well, he sung on your records as Roger, well, Freddie. Gosh. Yeah, yeah. Roger, Roger, Roger and me were the backup singers. Roger, Roger mm. Taylor. Yeah. And Roger, and Taylor, Taylor, um, Roger Taylor looked beautiful, didn't he? He, he, so, oh, he did look so like a very good I mean, woman. he looked like Bridget Bardot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. He had a beautiful it's woman, didn't he? Eyes. But yeah. Fred did back in that clip when I think about it, but I forgot what? all about it. I wish we had It'll that clip YouTube. to show. Can I yeah. say, Bruno Tonioli, who knew him, said he was one of the loveliest persons yeah, he's, he's ever, ever yes, met in yes, his whole was. life. Yes, yes, he is. He was, yes, and he still is, yes. And, and um, yeah, I miss him still, but, you know, that's, it's gone now. Mm. What would he think about today's work? I have no idea. Come what on. about cancel well, culture? Do you, you think he uh, would be... Uh, because he would probably have said know. some you things see, that would have... Yes, you just, hmm? I don't understand cancel culture. It, this is something, again, that's come Signals. from... It's just yeah. come from this, and who, who are they, do these people yeah. that do this? But they do oh, it, and people take notice of it. Well, yeah. of Instead of ignoring it, you yeah, see, yeah. and just going. But we just go, oh, I've been cancelled. I think things will change. I think I'm think i sure I've been cancelled many right. times and mm. still will be. Just, <laughs> just carry on. Now, we have got a clip of your new single. Oh, yeah. And only the audio, yeah. so we will do uh, dance. We will represent oh, the dance. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, well, I, I hang like on, just a minute. And Chuck, as the producer, <laughs> will you stop telling him to do stuff like that? No, because that? he hasn't got the video, so we've just got... Just giving the viewers what they want, You've got to give them the medium <laughs> of dance. <laughs> the viewers do not Chuck. want to see him Sorry, doing... They might, actually. My mum's texting. She's looking she forward to it. it. Well, uh, there's apparently a link with all the words, Chuck, but I don't know how to do that. We've got no, the track. Again, Let's I'm play it now. It's called Spend the Night We're going we're gonna to play this. It's called... Let, hang on, that's a Rolling Stones hit, wasn't it? Oh, no. no, no. no. What a time we had Just spend this night with me Don't shed a tear for me Remember me as I am Um, a little distorted, I apologise about that. Well, the, the person who did it will be getting a... Um, <laughs> yes, just spend soon. the night with me. That's one of my best that, nights. Yeah, well, that thing is interesting. <laughs> Hang on. Will you stop it? Yeah. <laughs> He's not interested in that. No. What? Not interested in you at all. No, you have no like, idea. I like it. Yeah, he, he might. Have no idea. Um, so that was called Just Spend the Night With this Me. This night. Which, uh, just Spend This, this Night, night yes. With Me. Yeah. Yes. It's very specific. Otherwise, the Rolling yes. Stones will... It's this. Yeah. And it's great. I love it. I, no, I, I have nice. to say, um, I, I'm, I don't normally say this, I, I, I like it as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I genuinely do. I, I'm, I'm, that, if you could get it back I, properly, we could hear a, I am, him on the front. Of it. I am delighted. He is. Yes, that's me in, in another state. Can of you life. see that? That drawing. I'm, I must get a drawing of me like and that. This, and this is very cool. And this is done by my great friend, who is um, Dan Llewellyn Hall, mm. and he's a great um, he, he's a great painter. He's actually painted the Queen as well. It's, it's wow. in the diary. And, 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 so did Ralph Harris. So, um, it's been nice to see you again, my friend, and we'll talk very soon. Uh, but we're going to go into a commercial break now. And, <laughs> what, what a joy it is to um, see you and to yeah, be here you, on man. a Saturday night and as you're... Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Go and find your taxi, <laughs> late-night like taxi you. dancer now. Uh, uh, yeah. And you... And, well, darling. Oh, you oh, oh go show to show Save it. Flip in Get a room. room. Get a room. to a break. <laughs> He's back, and he's uncensored. Debating the breaking news and talking to the biggest names, Piers Morgan is live every week with a host of stars. Uncompromising, unmissable, and uncensored. And remember, 
If you're thinking it, we're talking about it. Piers Morgan, Uncensored, Monday to Thursday at 8 p.m. on Talk TV. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> well, this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. To be I Bobby. said, stand by. Who's Bobby? It's getting so annoyed. Will you talk, turn their mics off for a while? There we are. Welcome back. The James Whale Show unleashed tonight uh, until 10. Sorry, 7 till 10. Uh, unfortunately, until next week, probably, unless uh, anybody makes any complaint. Um, James, take some calls. That's what we're going to do. So if you want to uh, chat about any of the subjects, you can actually talk about anything. I don't care. Amen. Anything at all, as long as... Not you, to turn the mics off. We'll keep them out of this. Just me, the viewers and the listeners. That's all I need. Tracy, in the number, oh, the number, 0344 499. 1,000. It's on the screen if you're watching on Do TV. the thing I do with the finger on the, the number, you know, like... Well, I, I, put the I, number up. Oh, it's at the side. Point to the, the side. the number, guys? No, point to the side. It's at the your side. Because I'm not there. They've put the caption. The oh, caption's yeah. more important than me. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, it. Right, let's talk to Tracy in Middlesbrough. Tracy, hello. Hiya, James. Tracy, what can I do for you? Well, I've been watching 
all your topics tonight and I was like trying to get through to all of them. Um, and then I, I like, why was there a demonstration trying to stop refugees going on the bo- on the bad sorry? Mm. Because they that. think it's very un... Uh, it's um, actually a good point because it's just the same as a hotel. Yeah, but it, it's actually costing well, us twenty thousand yeah. a day, yeah, and they've got a snooker not, room, not, TVs. Not, Hang on, that's not a question. I'm the question not, is why? Not, why were they complaining? Care. They're complaining because they're a bunch of uneducated yeah. idiots. They're attention and seekers, attention and this is seekers. how they can get attention because it's the main story. Yeah. That's the only all it way is. they can get press. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, idiotic. What they should do is invite Lizzie on. And they'll get loads of press. That's a good idea, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. They paid me That's enough. a brilliant idea. Because if they the pay you a lot of money... Well, you sell the story after. Well, yeah. I, I want to do, yeah. a, like, a pop uh, song on the barge. Good idea. Remember yeah. the group? R- uh, rock yeah. the boat. You could do Rock um, the Boat. Hang on, hang on, hang on. They're all blokes on the barge. I think that Perfect. would be that's a bad idea. That's why she wants to... And they're all single. Perfect. Anyway, that's made her quiet. So, Tracy, that's the answer, like really. they're just quality looking, streets. They were just looking for some publicity. I hope that poor driver isn't in trouble. Uh, well, you know, it's, you can't, it is illegal to hit people with your car. Glued themselves to the floor in London. Yeah, and the NHS couldn't get through. Well, the one ambulance did have problems getting through, but the fact is a lot of people who were trying to get to work as well, trying to get home for their children, all kinds of th- people held up for their own stupid, ignorant reasons. Uh, Tracy, thank you for that. Let's talk to Trudy, or Tracy, to Trudy, who's in London. Uh, Trudy, good evening. Good evening. I wanted to talk to you about the march in London today, 100,000 people. 73 years after the Second World War, we've just seen the worst pogrom in Jewish history, really going back to the Crusades, etc. And the 100,000 marchers, yes, there were Hamas, but there were a lot of the liberal left. And my worry is this, as a Jew, but not a religious Jew... Can I just stop you once there? I don't think any of those marchers were members of Hamas. I think they were badly educated, youngish people, mostly, Mm -hmm. um, for some reason, who have taken this leftist line, which is anti-Semitic. Well, Jeremy Corbyn was there today, wasn't he? Well, he supports Hamas. Well... There need I say more. But I don't think members of Hamas were... I hope not. Well, a lot of people that support them were there. Thousands um, of people that support them were Well, I suggest they there look at the terrorist... There were a few. Hmm. Well, out of 100,000, okay. it'd be thousands. Trudy, go on. Who's so... This? Yeah. I think we've crossed the line from criticism of the state of Israel, anti-Zionism, into anti-Semitism. And it's dangerous because once a country allows this sort of things to happen, then it's, a, it's not a long jump to taking away people's freedoms and, pre- mm. and what we've prized in this country. And I'm just so... Up- I- I'm actually a Holocaust educator. I've been an educator for 40 years. And I'm fed up that my Jewish grandson, who goes to a Jewish school has to be guarded. I just, but I want it, this is a warning not for the Jews, it's a warning for Britain. When on earth are you going to come to your senses and just stop this on the street? Yeah, because it could happen here, what happened in Israel. I mean, we saw Borough Market in 77, obviously not the same scale, but uh, one on that scale could happen in this country and we've got to be ready for that. What, What sort of country do we live in where my friend's son can't wear his school blazer because they go to a Jewish school? That is well, that's actually cancelled But, school. you know, the, mm. the problem is somebody has to educate the people. Hamas and the Palestinians are not the same. But Palestinians voted Hamas in. Well, it was a minuscule turnout, and it was seven, I think, seven years ago or longer, was it? Yeah, because Hamas years decided ago? they don't want another um, election. They that's decided that they wouldn't have any more elections. So mm. they are there, and they are holding the Palestinian people basically hostage. Mm. They can't do anything about it. So everyone should support Israel to get them out and free the Palestinian people as well. Yeah. And that's why I think these people are very ignorant yeah. about their their discussions. They sadly don't understand. But they're giving the sucker. They watch the BBC and Sky, who spread malicious, blood libelous lies. Thank you, Trudy. By the way, uh, let's talk to Marie in Sunderland. Marie, good evening. You're on the air. Uh, well, uh, do you know what really upsets me? Is that like um, is that like? Have you got we, something to say? If so, what is it? So our country, right? It's like. I think it's a bit messed up, but the other day I was walking from the shop, and then um, so the, and the, this this like the coloured man he went, 
Uh, uh, oh. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I don't think we need any of that. The dog made more sense. <laughs> yeah, absolutely made more sense. Uh, zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Thank you uh, for all the texts. Um, and uh, James, how uh, you who must be? Uh, you, mu I love your show, but you must be wearing your Mr. Grumpy pants tonight. Hey, Tracy, I think you've said that before. Um, but uh, at least you're watching and listening. Uh, was the Lizzie Cundy in the Peter Straker video dancing in the field? <laughs> Love the show. Thanks, John in Manchester. No. I wish it was me. Yeah, yeah. I've been in pop no. videos, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Quite a lot. Um, James Nash and top security man Halloween is great if you can afford the snobby to be dressing up uh, to party. What is on earth are you going on about, Alan? If that's the worst thing that's happening to you in your life, Alan, I would mm -hmm. uh, I would be very grateful. Uh, Dean in Birmingham. Dean, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Now, what well, can you? Uh, what well, 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 get along? Uh, get us some words. All, uh... Thank you, Dean. I can't understand you. Yeah, uh, Brian in Bournemouth. You're on the air. Hello, Brian. Good evening. Hello. Good yes. evening, James. Brian. How are you doing? All right. Uh, lo love the suit, by the way. Um, it's only a jacket, electric... Brian. But thank you very much indeed. A I'm wearing. Coat? And a waistcoat, and I'm wearing pants underneath. That's oh, good right. to know. Well, is that all? Oh, just your pants? It. Yeah. I love that. Too. At least that's a, one more thing. Well, all right, OK, well, you can come I, on next week's show. Um, Brian, what, what do you want to talk about? Yeah, electric vehicles. Mm. Um, it's, it's like the, I heard somebody say the other day, it's like the old v uh, VHS and Betamax. Mm. Uh, electric vehicles are the Betamax yes. of the future. Yeah, but it's a bad analogy because Betamax was a better system than VHS. It just so It's actually more like Laserdisc, it would be the better comparison. Mm. Do you know this, Brian? <laughs> I was talking about this very subject today because a number of electric cars have burst into oh. flames and nobody has reported they're a complete... Yes. They're about Nonsense. a tonne more each, so you've got yeah. to rebuild car parks, rebuild the road. If you get hit by one, you're going to end up much worse because they're a tonne heavier. I and think it's Denmark, I'm not sure, but I think it's Denmark has and now another banned... And blown up. And I'm just can't speaking. put them out. Guys. Sorry, yeah, man. It's, sorry. It's, I'm sorry, it's, but it's, let me just finish everybody this stop. point. Otherwise, I will get yeah. very angry let with Let James America. Wales have his point. No, you're not coming on next week. Um, Brian, the fact is that I think it's in Denmark... Is it in Denmark where they've uh, banned them from multi-storey car parks mm. as well? Mm. So I think the electric vehicle has had its day. I wouldn't buy one. Can I also just add a bit to this that we have to rebuild our bridges, our car parks, because they're so heavy? You the can batteries. come next week. Good. Okay. Good Basically, point. the technology's not ready until the batteries are as big as normal car batteries that we, you know, about that big. Like, I'm still not sure normal. about you next week. Um, yeah, Brian, sorry, go on. It's a lovely jacket you've got on, James, and the tie. Margaret. And the no, tie pin. It's, it's really nice. You look gorgeous tonight. <laughs> Was that, can I come back next week now? No. Oh. Uh, Brian. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, I'm getting really fed up now. Oh, it's Margaret. Yes, Brian's gone. Oh, Thank Margaret. you, Brian. Hi, Margaret. Uh, Margaret in Bedford. Good evening to yeah. you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, hello to all. Uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this uh, new earlier show. It, it suits me a lot better, and also I think. Well, we only did it for you. That's I mean, why we did you know, it. we we uh, came to a conclusion. I love Margaret. I've heard Margaret on this show quite a bit. Yeah, we don't like all these people coming on all the time. Get all the new callers on. Mm. Okay, I understand that. Um, Sorry, Margaret. Yeah, uh, I think if you get too late at night, the viewers of the the booze are starting to soak in. Much. <laughs> it affects what they say. Uh, anyway, I, I could do with a the... drink right now, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to talk about the migrants and how we might be able to save some money housing them. Yeah. Mm. Well, OK, OK, here we I go. I don't think we should be housing them. Actually, saving money is or we just turn them just away. Just don't let them in. Yeah. It, it is tongue-in-cheek and tongue-in-cheek, so shut okay. me off if you don't like it. But. Anyway, um, there's a well-known cruise line. They are booking the most epic world cruise ever to set sail. It's 274 nights, a little over nine months. It uh, <laughs> encompasses 60 countries over seven continents, makes 104, 150 ports of call stops. You're going to see the 11 uh, world wonders, uh, Pyramids of Giza, you know, the Great Wall of China, uh, Petra in uh, Jordan, Taj Mahal, all that and everything. You're going to enjoy this. Each passenger is going to get fine dining meals, deluxe beverage service, internet service, laundry service, all taxes, port fees, gratuities, transfers. If you pay up front at the time of booking, you get a 10% discount. You can, each passenger, uh, you can book for, that's 132 pounds a day. The government allows for 143 pounds a day for the migrants. The only problem is 
The passengers have to have a valid passport, and we know they toss their documents into the sea. So it's mm. cheaper to put them on a world cruise. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. A beautiful it luxury is. world cruise. Like Jane McDonald could be. Do they have shuffleboard on the, yeah. on the boat? Well, yeah, At 150 ports of call. That's the clincher. Over nine months, they're bound to find some place they'd rather spend their future yeah. in. Yes. But it's a very expensive cruise, isn't it? Mm. But it's cheaper than the 50 grand a year we're pa- So it would actually well, be cheaper for us to put all these migrants on a world cruise. It's uh, costing us three billion a year at the moment. Are you sure? Sh- hang on. I don't believe that. Well, it's I less mean, than 50 cruise, grand, isn't it? If it's less than this 50 cruise grand. is supposed to be f- for multi millionaires. It's the probably 30 grand or 40 grand. Do you right have Jane McDonald singing as you go down the corridor? That's a grand a week. It's a grand a week. <laughs> um, so let's do that. Send them on world cruises. It's not a grand a week. What? That's <laughs> cheap, isn't it? That's cheap. It's, mu- it's more it's like way more a than couple that. of grand a night, this exactly. cruise. Well, I don't know. You've how much is it? Oh, Ask does Margaret Sorry, know how much the fi- is, You know, you producer needs to get his well, head how much is it, Margaret? How much is it exactly a night? We need well, no, how much is the cruise, a nine-month cruise? pounds a night. Right, so that's cheaper. We pay two hundred pound a night. Yeah, yeah. So how much is it? The government website is one forty three a night. One thousand forty three. One hundred forty three. How how much did you say this amazing cruise is? Okay, the government on the government website they pay one hundred forty three pounds per day for each uh, migrant. Okay, or uh, illegal immigrant. Okay, on the cruise, if you book up front, uh, you get ten percent discount. Okay, it comes out to 132 pounds a day. It's not the best room it's on the ship. It's 11 pounds saving, like the Bibby Stockholm. That's not bad. Yeah. It's the for cheapest. Nine for nine months. Uh, yeah, but you don't, because that is for the cheapest. Anyway, it's a whole ridiculous thing. Well, you want to book them in the first class thing. now? Thank you, Margaret. That was supposed to be tongue-in-cheek, and you talked all over it. So no, but it actually it makes a very salient point. It doesn't. Point. I didn't say what. It does the cheapest room. They're but it's, but, sweet. But that's so a world cruise. That's cheaper than what we're, we're giving the migrants. Send these people who come into this country illegally with no paperwork can back. I, can I just say something? If you come over illegally, you throw your passport over, you are then a criminal. You shouldn't be put You're in a criminal hotel. anyway. You should be put in a detention centre. You are mm. a criminal. Okay. Am I not right? You can, uh, we'll probably you can come not, back next Because week. everybody will tell us. Yeah, zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Simon in Winchester. Simon, hello there. Hi. Th- thanks for taking the call on the subject of migration. One of, and here you can help me. But one of the big problems I have is why is our um, human rights law really not being reviewed and repealed? Let me just explain that. Um, We're in a situation now where our legal system, if I gather from the news rightly, is really being abused by uh, immigrant applicants. uh, It's abused in the sense that they now consult a whole lot of specialized lawyers who are specialized in getting around human rights laws. Um... They, as you write, somebody said just a minute ago, they throw their papers away. Uh, You don't know where they come from. The Home Office doesn't know where they come from. Um, Why? What is stopping our government, what is stopping our system from withdrawing from the European Convention on Human Rights and revising our human rights law so that we have a legal system that is actually manageable and less vulnerable to abuse by, uh, let's say, tricky lawyers. Because our institutes have been captured. It's the same with our media, with our NHS, with everything. It's all been captured by lefties, and this is what the country's falling apart in every way. The first order of any government is to look after its own people, and that's not what's happening. Okay, Simon, thank you for that. Let's squeeze Candice in before the break. Uh, Candice in Bristol, good evening. Hello, James Whale. Liz Cundy and Ash. Hello. Hi. Candice. I just want to say that I love you three together. I watch you every Saturday. Thank you. Is this a friend of yours? Thanks, no. man. Are you sure this I is... Don't no, know this is my call Candice, <laughs> but I love the name. Honestly, James, you're wearing the best suit I've ever seen on TV. Oh, I don't mind. Right. Since Rupert Bear. Since Rupert Bear. Honestly, James, you look so classy tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very sweet. That's Thanks, very Candice. nice. Thanks, Candice. Sorry. And Lizzie, you're beautiful. 
Unlike, um, it's very, it's very nice to have a fan on. We don't really have many. Uh, <laughs> Paul doesn't like Ash. Um, yeah, I don't uh, like you either. One doesn't like me. Um, Everyone and, loves me. And, yeah, yeah. Oh no, not tonight. Um, Ash, we love to see behaving badly. Uh, and Meghan Markle, actually, I don't think it's the real she one. Them. Oh yeah, she just She texts said me. she hates both of you. She wants to be my uh, friend again. James, I. Oh yeah. Okay, well, that's quite. Mark true. says we're the goat. So, we're so, goat. So. To be, uh, to be honest, Candice, thank you very much indeed. You've cheered us up. You have, Candice. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, right, we've got a minute to go. Um, so thanks, Lizzie. See you next week. Yeah. Uh, and I'll brief you better next I week. Was, I, I will stick by my Halloween. No more trick or treat. Don't get me going again. That really yeah. winds me up, trick or treat. You love I a sweet tea. I do. I'm not going to give them to bloody kids knocking on the door. They're yeah, not going to get to my keep sweeties. sweets. Uh, coming up after the break, we've got an exclusive. We have got the first person evicted from the Ooh. Big Brother wow. house. Wow, wow, we wow. And there are a bunch of boring scientists, to be honest. I've only watched <laughs> a little bit of it, but it's not Not very, as good as you. Not as good as me, no. Uh, 0344 499 1000. If you would like to be in the Big Brother house, give us a call and uh, tell us. Thank you very much indeed for watching. There's the phone number, 0344-499-1000. Text us at 87222 and put the word talk before you do it. And we will be back after I've had a quick run down the corridor. Good Three, two, one, and go grab. This, my friends, is Talk Today with me, Jeremy Kyle. And me, Nicola Thorpe. Big opinions. You can't be concerned about these people coming because that makes you a nasty racist. Big guests and the big issues of the day. Join me, Julia Hartley Brewer, every day at 1 pm when I'll be tackling the stories that affect real people's lives. These people were effectively, you know, tried and convicted by the court of public opinion. When did we stop the presumption of innocence? Talk TV. If you're thinking about it, we're talking about it. This is Talk TV. We're here! Good morning, everybody! Hope you're well. Thanks for joining us. You're watching The Independent Republic of Mike Graham right here on Talk TV. Welcome to Friday Night with Nadine. Here on Primetime, we like to speak to the business people behind big moments. Good evening, I'm Piers Morgan, Uncensored, in New York City. Very impressive. Well played. I'm three days into the job. What have I done wrong? Yeah. And your face just stared <laughs> out at me. Ah. Me and you, conquer time. Who Back wins? Us. You. <laughs> do you know what I love about tour today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. Are you actually speech rating for this? You like, I'm so rich. <laughs> so, frankly, uh, I'm going to take the side of boozed up Brits against these pompous. What do you mean you're not going to support Mayor Jose no, Luis? No, I Sanz. am not. To the NIMBYs, to the naysayers, and the National Society for the Preservation of the Habitat of the Lesser Spotted Newt. The problem lies in the bureaucracy. Well, it's almost like those highly done. paid consultants don't really know what they're doing. The first thing they teach you in weather school is never confuse dog walkers with doggers. Twitter, you sons of. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please reinstate my account? Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> There's a threat that you'd be worried about. <gasps> So are you saying that you're being overwhelmed, that you're inundated? We are really working hard for you, and we're just asking patients to be patient with us. The one thing Labour would be terrified of if Boris Johnson zoomed back into full focus. Boris Johnson uh, isn't what he was. Most of them seem to have given up. Welcome to the talk. It's really great to be back. My little darlings. Mm. Kids think all they have to do is stay at home be silly, mm -hmm. take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok then, yeah? Problem oh, solved. Yeah. Problem solved. He's as up. fit as a butcher's dog. There he's, you go. He's fit as a butcher's dog? Him. Oh, right. <laughs> but, but he's now middle <laughs> class. Three of us here, Jess. <laughs> the knock-on effect is far larger than just CO2. Well, I nearly have empathy when I'm speaking to them. I know now you're probably going to boot me off the show after <laughs> this <laughs> 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 
trying to say, I'm not, I'm not a Swifty. Critics, I'd say me included, <laughs> got former PMs all over the joint saying things the last few days. They have indeed, <laughs> yeah. Great first show, you having fun? Oh, a ton of fun. Yes. King Piers and King Cube. I think it's only room for one king, man, you know what I'm saying? Just because they're skin folk don't mean they're kin folk. When I say I am God, you think I'm joking or not? You tell me. I'm not joking. I'd rather do it on camera. No, 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 no. If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Why? We'll explain why. How do you feel about that influence that you have? You better be careful. We're coming for your children there, buddy. About my resignation, yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. It was a fabulous dinner until <laughs> you two uh, mooned us. <laughs> Thank God for Talk TV is not only the home of common sense, it's the only place where you get the truth. This is Talk TV. He's back and he's uncensored. Debating the breaking news and talking to the biggest names. Piers Morgan is live every week with a host of stars. Uncompromising. Unmissable and uncensored. And remember, if you're thinking it, we're talking about it. Piers Morgan, uncensored, Monday to Thursday at 8 p.m. on Talk TV. Look, I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on Talk TV and radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a car. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on Talk TV. Was this music the same as we had last week? Let's have a listen. Why? Can we not go back to the music I had for years? The one I, I brought you, Curtis Mayfield's Junkie Chase from the Superfly film. Yeah. I mean, I don't This is mellow, music. man. Can yeah, I, yeah, I, it's all, mellow everybody music. just lie back and... It makes... Watch it, the energy through your mind, going through your forehead exactly. and out of your fingertips, the exactly. white light. OK. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back. This is our uh, final... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Final Open your chakra. Uh, 0344 499 uh, If you're easily offended, as some people always are, I can never understand that. Easily offended, no. this is not the show for you. Leave Go now, on. but leave the television you on. You know, send all these complaints if you like, but why are you watching? I don't know. Um, my, <laughs> uh, lots of people talk. Sheila says about the migrants, by the way. Uh, it makes... Hang on, what are you doing? Well, we only need one more. Oh, OK. Um, most of these migrants are like a secret army who will rise again. Well, I'm not sure if that's right, but you don't know. Well, these well, people we, we have don't come know, here do we? So we have form. to be ready for that. Yeah. Uh, if you've got something to say about the migrants, about the uh, terrible situation in the Middle East at the moment, uh, or anything else that's going on... Whatever it is, treating, you, Les, everything. I'm afraid... I'm afraid Lizzie and I had a big fallout, a bit trick-or-treating. I yeah. hated. It was almost came to blows, but obviously it didn't. But no, because terrible, mean, because uh, that's what trick-or-treat is. People have got strong opinions on it. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Michael, who is in uh, Yorkshire. Michael, good evening. Uh, good, uh, good evening. Uh, thank you uh, for letting me uh, participate, uh, James, uh, Ash and Liz. No, and she's, she's gone. She's gone. It's just us you yeah. have to thank. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Michael, to the point. By, by the Palestinians. We... Um, there were 100,000 demonstrating today. Uh, and uh, obviously, Palestine has their own representative here in London. Why aren't they also uh, using on the placards to free the British hostages? Because they are uneducated idiots who are demonstrating, don't even know what's going on. And the thing about. We talked about this before. The thing about Hamas is that they are there holding the Palestinians, if you like, as human shields themselves um, and delaying the chance of the Israeli army getting there to get at them because they have put an enormous amount of civilians Well, it's in all front. on their hands. The yeah. blood is all on, you know, and, and the people supporting them, like the, the press. But this is the question, why? Why have so many people decided to support these terrorists not the palestinians they're not supporting the palestinians they're making life even worse well you look at jeremy corbyn he was a mainstream leader and he openly supported a prescribed 
terrorist, terrorist group and he was a main so that shows you what the public there is a lot of public out there who have the wrong views and they're out there out there loads of them but you know you say a hundred thousand people took to the street this is a country of over 60 million exactly they should it's remember that. They should I remember don't know that. how they suddenly know how many people were there either. No, exactly. It's, it's, all, it's probably well over, you know, overestimated, isn't it? Again, because the press will do that, because yeah. that's what side they're on, a lot yeah. of them. Michael. Michael? The British... Uh, why, why is no one asking for the British hostages uh, to be released? It's a very good point. There's actually British citizens yeah. now. And where's the protest? There's why are 17, they talk? is it They're tearing 17? the posters down of the British hostages. No. They're actually tearing posters down of, kidnap of British hostages. It's appalling. And I think the problem is, uh, changing the subject slightly, Michael, but the problem is... Um, we can't, nowhere really can be a multicultural. We can be a multi. Um, um, we can be, I think it's uh, not multi. Because there's parallel societies, people aren't mixing in. It, yeah. it, it's, 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 uh, you can have a and multiracial the just society. As equal, but, uh, guilty when they go to other countries and they go and live in other countries. They yeah, stay yeah. in little um, cliques. Well, they do, don't they? Yeah. yeah because they, but, yeah. you know, it's even worse over here. But the thing is, if you support Hamas and you support this, don't you support the 7-7 bombings and don't you support, you know, the Borough Market mm. attacks? They're the same thing, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Michael, thank you for that. Marilyn is in Derby. Marilyn. Hello, dear. Hi. Uh, no, I don't know whether I've missed this, because I'm, I'm ashamed to say I've not long put you on. I, did, I forgot Marilyn, to get Marilyn, what Did you forget on earth we're on early? Going I know, on. And, I, and I might miss you next week as well, because you're on the same time. You can watch us on YouTube. You watch YouTube? Yeah, you no, can get dear. us and watch us on YouTube. Talk TV oh, app yeah. as well, the Talk yeah. TV app. Any case, I don't know whether anybody's mentioned this, but um, I saw an article in uh, one of the newspapers last week to say that actually caught uh, one of the people, it was selling the boats to the migrants. It actually showed you the, uh, the gentleman. Yeah, we've um, done that story. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. But no, go and put uh, your point. I'd be interested in hearing no, your point. But what gets me is, is, yes, he sold the boats, he's made all that money, but is a, they're murderers as well, because how many boats have up t turned upside down and people have died? But, you um, know, they don't just go There was 29 in one of, yeah. about a year ago. 10,000. Oh, 10, this guy has smuggled 10,000 people in. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got, was it f he's, eight years? Not well, that's the thing. It's a much ridiculous. lesser risk than drugs or any other thing. So why wouldn't organised criminals? And it's mm. very highly paid. A one boat can be worth a quarter of a million pounds. Just one rubber yeah. dingy. Yeah. So, you know, and uh, uh, why people want to pay these gangsters because mm. that's what they are to come to this country um and they come here usually without documents they throw them in the yeah. channel before but we know why here. because they get everything because they're here they just yeah. that's how you become a british they're, citizen they're you just vast come here. majority are just young guys why aren't they yeah. in their country helping to look after their country and build it up they've no interest mm. they want to come exactly. here and get everything for nothing um thank you very much indeed now you'll have to try, why on earth do you want to watch strictly i mean it's the same mm. all the time uh yeah. ray's in liverpool ray good evening hi hi james um i'd like to talk about this immigration stuff um how come is that when the uk wants to send all these um these migrants to rwanda but when denmark does it they don't get called a racist why is that well, say that again. Why doesn't who get called a racist? How, how come when, when the UK wants to send all these yeah. illegal migrants to Rwanda, yeah. um, they get called a racist, but when Denmark does it, they don't get called a racist? Why? Well, I don't know who's calling who racist. No, it's a, it's a, it's a good racist. idea. Nobody's saying it's you're no racist. No one's saying it's racist to do that, yeah. really. And if they are, then they're... People are racist. You say Rwanda's not a safe country. They're yeah. being racist because they're not actually... That's in their imagination because you look at the statistics. Yeah. It's not a dangerous country. Unless you go yeah, down that's the wrong. what I'm saying. It's just yeah. like um, so they're the racists. Was, mm. No, it's just like over. Pe it's just like people on the far left call UK yeah. a racist for sending them to Rwanda. That's their normal. That's what they just you know. Yeah. You say anything slightly to the, not to the left, and but you're not to your right, far right. Unfortunately, after Jeremy Corbyn sort of existence as the leader of the Labour Party, yeah. the Labour Party seems to have. Uh, still be fairly anti-Semitic, yeah, particularly still, in the... Um, you can smell it still. It's got a lot better, obviously, but... Nether so, regions, yeah. Yeah, in the nether regions. Though, in the yeah, nether regions. Right, it does still Yeah, speak. Ray, thank you for that. Um, why won't you let people speak? Well, ring in and find out. I mean, I think we've had some people yeah. speaking You've got to try. Try yeah. just... Yeah. Um, 
Yemen and James, Yemen are getting involved now. Uh, the fired missiles, but America shot them down. This is heading to World War Three, crazy time, says Wayne. Mm. Um, and uh, if these idiots waving flags love Palestine so much, why don't they get on a plane and go there? Well, I think that's a rather stupid thing, Mr. Angry. Um, does anybody check? What disease the migrants may have when they come here, Keith in Burnley? This is a problem. Mm. We don't apparently have the man or woman power to actually check. Well, not only that, they could be murderers, rapists, anyone. Everyone yeah. gets in. Mm. So, I mean, this is not only do they get situation. in, they get put up in a really. Why has our government, if Rishi Sunak wants to stay as leader, then he needs to yeah. do something about this? Very, Imagine if you went to an quickly. airport and just and they just go, oh, we would just let you through. It'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what we're doing at the mm. coast. No uh, customs, let's go back to uh, Liverpool. Steve, good evening. Hi, James. Hi, Ash. Steve, right. what can we do for you? Uh, um, I've, I've just sent you a couple of pictures of um, CCTV. Um, what it is, it's, it's five o'clock in the evening, and then the photograph's taken at nine o'clock at night, and it shows you all the clouds in the sky. Um, it's what's in fireworks. I'm made up. You've actually brought this up about fireworks mm -hmm. because they are dangerous, number one. Number two, um, they do get people epileptic fits sometimes. Yeah. And they, they, they actually they make the environment absolutely disgusting. You know, for mm. kids, and they take kids to bonfire. Um, kids get injured, like, kids get blinded. Animals, birds go mad, don't they? And obviously, war yeah. veterans have flashbacks, and occasionally it does end in violence. As I said earlier, an 80 year old man strangled his wife in bed because he got a flashback to, I think it was the First World War about 20 years ago. I remember that story. So, it, it, people have PTSD after Iraq and Afghanistan, yeah. and they've got all these explosions going on. I mean, it, 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 it's a very, very, very good point. Steve, thank you very much indeed. Um, have have Bonfire Day, but why not have a. a, a once, and let's not have all these religious. Of course, no. there, there are Muslim religions. I'll tell you what's amazing. Fireworks everywhere. You have these drone there. shows now where they've got yeah. like a thousand drones, and that's actually amazing to see, you know, yeah. the way they do it. I mean, I, I'm fed up with fireworks, to be quite honest. Yeah, I'm sick but of it. I'm I like sparklers, though. I do like a sparkler. Well, don't touch well, one with the hand. I know, you hot. forget, don't you? I've, mm. I've done yeah. that myself. You've got to be very, very careful yeah. with the sparkler. Remember that advert? And trick or treating. CO, right. Disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Uh, somebody said, oh, no, I better not read that out. That's very nasty about... Uh, no, about about Cundy. Uh, and James, please, could you stop Ash from appearing on your show? He's rude, annoying and disruptive. You're, That's you're why I'm here, man. Do you know... That's why I'm here, yeah? From Denny. Yeah, Denny, but, yeah. Yeah, but quite frankly... Do I know him? I don't think so. I'm more upset you didn't say that about me. Yeah. Oh, somebody says... That's what he's striving for. You are one of the rudest people I've ever seen. Yeah, for 50 years, called me Someone's the called us man. goats. What does that mean? Oh, very okay. rude and hurtful. Right, listen, we've, got our, uh, we've now got our uh, next special guest on. Uh, Farida Khalifa. Good evening. We're, gonna look, we're just going to look at you in uh, action before we speak. Here we go. Good evening. Good evening. I'm a makeup artist from Wolverhampton. So I'm a very proud Muslim and I love, love praying and I practice it five times a day. Going into the Big Brother race, I will still be practicing my faith. I will still be covering my hair, dressing modestly, you know, practicing what I believe in. I live with my wonderful husband. He actually proposed to me without me even meeting him. I'm 50 years old and I love embracing my age because with age comes wisdom. I'm and here is the lovely Frida, first person to be kicked out of the Big Brother's uh, house. Good evening, Frida. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. There you are. Okay. I'm still buzzing. You're still buzzing. Now listen, I've heard that you think you got kicked out because you're so old. Oh well, um, there are social dynamics. I do believe in that. You yeah. know, um, you would um, come on. Let's. It may be if there was, um, you know, um, the, the actual cast, the actual housemates were all within. Like, it may be if I had somebody that was in alignment yeah. with my ex group. We would look after, look out within 
or into the village, you know what I mean? Yeah. So of course, the 20-year-olds are going to look out for each other, aren't they? Well, I, I was in the Big Brother house about eight years ago, seven or eight years ago, and I couldn't get out. I tried to, to get voted out every which way, so I don't think it's age. I'm a lot older yeah, than you. Um, but did you enjoy the experience? Oh, I absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. But I you seem a fun it. person. It's often the fun people that get kicked out and that at first, and that ruins the show, doesn't it? I mean, why would you think you were kicked out? I haven't seen the, the no. new series. Um, Maybe I'm quite opinionated. See, that's um, good. You know, Are you? Um, yeah, I think I was a bit of a threat to the um, because obviously I expressed that, you know, I'd, I'd got my own sexy why I'd gone on Big Brother. Yeah. It wasn't to, um, it was also one, I really do feel the Muslim woman is underrepresented on TV shows. Mm. So I want to sort of increase my profile. Do you, I mean, th this is a big problem at the moment, isn't it? The problem of of Muslims and non-Muslims in this country. What do you mean? Well, you know, people are, are beginning to get very feisty from the Muslim world and demonstrate about what's going on in the Middle East and everything else. Um, it must be quite a difficult time. Yeah, I'll be honest. I've been in the... I mean, it is a difficult time. Um, however, I've, I was sort of... You know, in that Big Brother house for that week. So, I, I, well, it was actually two weeks prior to um, actually going in. You yeah. were in hiding. So I was, you know, I didn't really know what was but going they, on. They don't let you know anything, do they? Oh, my God, you're under complete. The curtains are drawn in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got that chaperone, chaperoning you everywhere. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. when you came out, were you surprised what was going on in the world? Um, to be honest, I'm still trying to get my head down, sort of getting myself straight. Mm. It's only been a week. You live on sort of four hours sleep while you're in, in the actual Big Brother house. Um, you know, with everything that you literally hard to sleep. So I'm trying to get myself straight at the moment. Are you trying to get yourself a media career? You know, that's, is that what you're looking for? Some sort of presenting work or stuff like that? It's, a lot of people <laughs> use it as a launch pad. That's exactly my. Um, I'd like. To, I'd love to be on New Swimming. Um, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Get on New Swimming. <laughs> Have they not asked? Did they not invite you on to talk to you after you got uh, thrown out? Well, to be honest, I've got an agent, Gregory, at the moment, and we're getting about a thousand emails from through every day. Mm, nice. So it's a really busy time. Um, you know, like, like I said, I've, I, I need to sort of he's kind of working around all the brand deals and everything that's coming through for me. All right. Um, Yes, and remember, usually the first one's on the big stretch and they usually achieve the most. Well, it took me six months to get over being in there for five You've never weeks. quite got over I've it. never no, quite got no. over I've never become normal since no. I went in there, but I'm sure you will be. You're, you're, obviously, you will be. I don't know about getting back to normality, I feel you. <laughs> Can I ask you another question? This is purely because uh, I'm not trying to be provocative or anything like that, but isn't it against the... the, the the Islamic teachings for you to go into a show like that? Yeah, well, to be honest, I'm a woman that believes in living my true self. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I've mm. done in my life, mm. um, like with the next Holly direct, you know, um, I've done loads of things and I believe in, you know, I, I'm i on my own personal journey as far as Islam goes, yeah, and um, I try and sort of improve daily. However, it was something that I wanted to do to inspire young people yeah. that you can still achieve your goals and still, you know, be that, that go out and get fulfill your dreams. You know what I mean? It's a very, very good uh, way to live, I think. Can I also ask you, and please, if this is rude, I, I don't, I'm not religious. I'm not Christian. I'm not Jewish. I'm nothing. Okay. I have my own faith in yeah, you're my Christian, head. You're Christian. You were beliefs. baptized in a oh, font, in, in, that in the church. So. I was a baby. I, well, absolutely, you know, I was desecrated. Really. Um, why do you feel the need? And why do I mean? I've asked the same questions to Christians as well. And uh, people always and Jews have to wear some strange headgear. Why do you? Oh, it makes you feel empowered. Okay. I just want. I mean, I can't talk about it. I've got no hair or anything on my well, head. Well, if you're Jewish, you can't really wear it out at the moment. No. Yeah, I, I love my headscarf. I wear it with a lot of confidence. Well, I, I like your headscarf. It's the it's the black ones all the time that say I don't. Well, you mean where it covers the whole mm. face? Yeah. 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 Yeah
What do you think about the whole face covering? Um, each to their own. I'm mm. not. I'm very. Yeah. You know, I sort of agree person. with that a bit. Mm. Each to their own. If you want to wear it, you wear it. Don't as long as it's their choice and not they're not yeah, forced exactly. to wear it. Mm. This is, the problem with um, Islam is a lot of people think that um, your stress is being forced to wear it. Um, or your husband. Well, they are in Iran, aren't they? And it's the countries around the world. So if they're over here, they might be insisting that their wives wear it. But, um, like, for example, certainly me, I've never ever lived my life by um, a man trying to tell you what to me. Good for you. Yeah. I, I have always, you know, I serve Allah, God, and that's my choice. If oh. I want to wear a headscarf, that's my journey. That's no, it's no Well, let me let me tell you. After having chatted to you for five ten minutes, I uh, I don't think they should have thrown you out. No. I don't understand. I haven't watched it. I have to be honest with you, well, uh, except for the first twenty minutes when it yeah. first started. But now, Alison Hammond, she's from Birmingham, isn't she? You you remind me a bit yeah. of her. She's got a similar accent. Obviously, you're a yam yam. You're from Wolverhampton, but is it, you, I see you in that sort of uh, you're quite a personality driven presenter. She's my inspiration, funny enough. Yeah, both yeah. You can see that. Them. Yeah, you'll be and, uh, you'll be better than she is. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, she's very good. <laughs> not what you said in the break. No, of course not. No. Um, listen, we'll talk again, I'm sure, and we wish you lots of luck now outside. Uh, Frida, thank you very much indeed, uh, who uh, was the first... Uh, Evec, Evec, well, it's Evec. good to be the first, because you remembered. Say, first Evicti of the new Evicti, Big Brother series. I can't say some words. Is it filmed in, like, Elstree again? Like, yeah, huh? where it was, where I was. Did you bury anything in the garden? For no, the shh, 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 take a break. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. Your illness helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today.
very good morning. It's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Yes, it is indeed. Good evening. Welcome. There you are. Uh, welcome to the James Whale Show Unleashed Prime Time between 7 and 10 now on a Saturday evening. Ash is yeah. here over there in the corner. Um, well, and now this segment, it. what we're going to do is just take... We've had terrible trouble tonight getting guests in, whether it's because of the demonstrations in London or not. We get them out easily, don't we? We get them out easily, get out. but getting in out. is uh, yeah. a real problem. Yeah. Uh, Tom, let's do loads of phone calls now. Uh, if you want to call us, 0344 499 1000. And uh, Tom is in Stockton. Tom, good evening to you. Good evening. Thank you for taking my call. Hi, hi, you don't have to thank me, Tom, please. It's fine. Um, if you don't mind, can I talk to Ash? You're talking to both of us. Talk We're away. All here. OK, well, last week, um, obviously, when the attacks happened, yeah. I thought Ash was a bit pensive, a bit aggressive, you know what I mean? And um, I knew well, I was a bit myself, like, yeah, sorry. Got a, got a personal perspective about stuff, right? Obviously being... Where are we going with this, Tom? Yeah, what's your point? Well, we're not going anywhere, but... We're not going to anywhere, right? Tom. What do you want to? Just why do you want to talk to Ash? Yeah, just make your point, man. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, so, so Ash, obviously, you're Jewish, aren't you? Yeah. Well, yeah. Has that got well, anything I knew to do that. with this discussion? I knew. Is that yeah. your point? Oh no, I'm just asking a question. What's your well, point? Ask the uh, question. Make your point. Uh, my point is right. There's there's history involved in this war because Gaza and. Is really, you know that, don't you? Tom, yeah, I mean, ask I think the you need question. to go and, look, go and look at it. I, I've looked at it. Ask right. the question. And what conclusion? Ah, shut up a minute. Yeah. Ask the question. I, I'll ask the question, right? Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. Keep him on. Yeah, what is the question? Yeah, what's the question? Do you think it's justified what Israeli army are doing now? No, oh. don't answer yet. Do you think it's justified? Right. Don't say right all the time, just say let yes me, or let no. Let me ask you a question. No, let, just, you can right. in a second. Right. But let me just hey, get to this. Do think you think... Proportion. You, hey. What is proportion? What a, proportion is, right, if you were like... I'll give you an example, right? One and two or three or four or five or... If six. you don't answer the questions without talking complete and utter... Let me ask you a question. Let me go rubbish. Let me. Um, you, you know, oh, let me ask you a question, right? What okay. would you do if someone came here, killed 9,000 citizens here, took 1,000, say, back to Iran and had them as hostage? Would you go, oh, let's be proportionate, let's not... Did you say that after a 9 a nine eleven? Did you go, oh, America, where they've just not... You'd be, you, better, you better be careful, just be be proportionate. Is that is that your, you know, is that your point? That's right. Thank you for replying. But 9,000 people weren't killed, were they? No, but it's proportionate 9,000 to the UK, the population. Oh, what, what, and 1,000 kidnapped. What are we talking about for my what is, Listen, if you want to talk of proportion, you, that's proportion. Both of you, for a minute, just shush. I want to find out. So if, for argument's sake, a, comp, a country or a, a um, terrorist organisation from a country had come in to the UK, come into London, and murdered... Over a thousand people, including children, elderly people, decapitating babies, yeah. mutilating bodies, all well, it's I'm 1,500 afraid, on in Israel, which is 9,000 here. Exactly. Would you say, or would just say that's terrible, or would we go to war with them for invading us and killing over a thousand people? What would you do? Right, James, right? What would you do? Well, I, I would say, what, like, what would, would I do? What, you do? What would you do as Prime Minister of the UK, what James just asked you, what would you do if you were the Prime Minister of the UK? Would you just go, oh, let's hear them out, or would you go to war with them? Because you sound like you'd say it's all right. Ash, you just said to me, if I was Prime Minister of the UK, right? That's right, I've asked you that, yeah. I'm that exactly, I don't yeah. really know why I'm giving him so much I don't time. think you're ever going to be Prime Minister. But I'm no, no, really beginning no, to get annoyed. What would you no, do... Listen. Do, what would you want your government to do? be better way yeah, of phrasing that, it. Yeah. What would you want your government to do if we'd just been invaded some, by some terrorist organisation and they immediately <laughs> killed well over a 1,000 people? 10,000, And they yeah. were... They were civilians. We what about, would you do? Invaded then, so what, which one? Russia... What are we on about? Hi. You see, it's this is stupid. the stupidity of, of some people like you. It's not about proportion in a way. Unfortunately, the Palestinians are held at gunpoint yeah. by Hamas. And they have been 
the Israelis have been continually bombed ever since the Six Day War, really. Yeah. And it will, you know, I feel for the Palestinian people. I feel that they've been caught in the middle and that they need to be looked after. Well, it's the rest of the Arab world that have not helped them out because they want to remain a thorn in the side. <clears throat> um, and that's what it's done you for know, the last 75 and years. And these people like the Hamas and the Hezbollah and others, they, they say, and they will say it to you quite openly, we won't rest until... Excuse me, it's, uh, Israel yeah, is gone. From the river to the sea. Yeah. And that is, uh, that's what Let's they're chanting. Talk. And they've made it illegal if they do it to Jewish people here, but it's not illegal if... So if I turned up and they started saying it, it's mm. just a ridiculous situation. It is. Lisa in Manchester, hello. Hello, hello. hi, can you hear me? Uh, yes, Lisa, that's why I called you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Perfect, thank you, and thanks for having me on. That's all right. Um, basically, um, James, what my question is, is... What, what's your thoughts on the safety of the UK with the current war that's going on? Well, we have probably the best trained military. I'm not sure about the leadership at the moment because there's a, a little bit of woke. We don't have it. It's not big enough. Either. It's more. not big enough, but we have the best trained and we have some excellent uh, military and personnel. Yeah. I, I feel quite safe. We're very professional. But we need to take it more seriously when we get attacked. We've only got 80,000 troops. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's just little things like I, I was meant to go to London this week, uh, last week to watch a Madonna concert, and mm. even though it sounds like I'm being, you know, a bit of a scare, I'm scaremongered by watching stuff, I didn't go, and I just felt with the protests and stuff going on, mm. I felt intimidated, to, to be honest, and I'm not a person that's easily intimidated. Well, are you from Manchester? I, you got an accent, and obviously what happened in Manchester, are you from around there? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, I think it's in the IRA bomb in, 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 in Manchester. Well, Ariana, Ariana Grande, obviously, was the most recent thing. Yeah. So, yeah. obviously, Am you're going to be thinking about that for any yeah. big gig, aren't you? I mean, I don't, I don't think the, the kids, and they are mainly kids demonstrating, yeah. actually have any idea about the problems that have been here for a long time. In the Middle East, I don't, I don't think, they, think they understand kids. it. I mean, you know, but not just, but the majority yeah. seem to be kind of yeah. well, it's a fascist students. thing, isn't it? As yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Like oh, the people who are gay for on... Palestine would get lynched if they went there yeah. for in Gaza. Yeah. So, you know. but what's your thoughts on the lone wolf stuff? You know, like we've seen Paris. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, somewhere in mm. France. I'm not sure where it was. You, you know, can't. This is, this is my thought, Lisa. You cannot live hiding away. Oh from yeah. the possibility of this happening because if you do then the terrorists have won but we do need to go after these organizations who want yeah. to preach nothing but violence who want to change the world to the way they want and if you look at what um, isis wanted and the way they behaved and we seem to have forgotten it and i actually have to put blame on the american government and the stupid biden because pulling out of afghanistan and just giving it back to the Taliban was the most ridiculous, stupid thing yeah. we have well, ever some done. Some people say some of those weapons ended up mm. with Hamas. Yeah. But we need to remove people who, who hate this country from this country. It's just obvious. You can't have an okay. enemy in the country. All right. Lisa, thank you very much indeed. Lovely to hear from you. Um, thank you very much indeed. Uh, this is not right either. You, um, you do a good job of pretending to be the rudest man on TV, but you cannot fool us ladies. You're a big softy. We love you. I am. I. Do you know? It not. sounds like my wife's talking to me yeah, now. I'm, not. I'm, I'm, I'm really yeah. a, a real man's yeah, man. Yeah, don't worry about yeah, that. No, yeah, I, yeah. I make the decisions. Sometimes in the break, my we uh, we grapple, don't we? Yeah, we we do. Um, thank you very much indeed. No, Ash isn't rude. I mean, he's a no, pussy I'm cat. I'm the rude one. Um, a lot of people think wearing the tie makes me look uh, older. No, you no, can, I, I, you I can look older. New show. New, uh, new. You can stop laughing, Chuckle. You I like that on. that type in. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? I've, 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 I bought this tie on Amazon. You well, know you, where I like you to do pay my shopping. For it. No, it is. I like that tie. Yeah. Do you know how much? Six quid. Eight quid. I am a. I ripped you off. I am. But it came with cufflinks. Well, I don't it's paisley, know. Isn't and it? this. Paisley, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. a nice one. Actually. Uh, let's talk to uh, Richard in Cornwall. Richard, you're on the air. Good evening. Your point. Oh, good evening. Um, basically, the point I was making, and I may be well and truly wrong on this, but it's the first time I have heard somebody mention uh, Hamas in the same league with ISIS uh, and other such. Mm. And the point you want to make, Richard, is? The point I'm saying is that so many people who have been protesting in this country uh, and throughout the world, that why are they 
protesting against Israel, but they don't protest against, for example, Manchester. Yes, we had a few people. We had a few people out there. Yeah. Richard, I don't I understand the point. What, why do you want people to, to um, demonstrate against <laughs> Manchester? Are you a supporter of Hamas? Oh, totally not. Are you sure? Not. It sounds to me like you are. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually laughing at that. So you're saying when they bombed away. Manchester, why didn't they go out and protest then against Israel? Yeah, sort of thing? yeah, yeah. it's sort of like uh, you've got 100,000 people protesting for Palestine and the Hamas, uh, who belongs to the Pal uh, who is with the Palestinian people, um, it's just that they don't seem to put them in the same... Well, it's like what I was saying earlier about the 7-7 bombing in the Borough. Mm. This is the same... Sort That's of, exactly what yeah, I, I, I agree with you about that. Yeah. Bombing so, are basically the same people who yeah. did this attack on Israel. Because, Why aren't anybody... Because they're ignorant, you, Richard. Compare it. They're, they're ignorant, Richard. They don't understand that... that but he's talking about the people, doing. not at the protests. Yeah, that, that um, they are going out there protesting. They should. We should have been out there maybe protesting against the people yeah. who, who uh, knocked down the Twin Towers. You're absolutely right. Uh, did the Manchester bombing as well. Not to mention what happened down the road in Borough Market from here. Yeah. But no, this one seems to have been wound up by a bunch of people that we... Should yeah. be quite worried about. Well, you're very worried about. You're absolutely right. Sorry, I got you the wrong way around, Richard. I apologise. And you don't hear that often. No, you don't. You, got no. to, you don't normally get no. people the wrong way around. Um, yeah, Richard. Thank you. Let's go to Brian, who is uh, where is he? What's all that say? In Hertfordshire. See, normally I'm there Hemel to read, read those things. No, no, it's Hemel Hempstead. Very Hemel, good. Yeah, very good. And we need to lift it. I might get you back next week. I feel a bit lonely. I oh, know, yeah. Um, OK, yes, let's... Uh, although we're both together on the screen and I have yeah, got yeah. time to look. stretch out, which does make it better. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to be very careful. Hello, there you are, Because yeah. what happened... That's better, yeah. yeah. That's you look gorgeous. Right. Thank you, darling. Way. Thank you, sweetie. Um, what happens is that um, you touch my leg too much. Brian, good evening. Hello, sir. Um, I'd just like to ask two questions. What was your greatest moment on radio, and what was your saddest moment on radio? Well, both. meeting me, meeting me was his greatest. What was it? probably and meeting me was the worst. Was the saddest, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think both in one, Brian. Thank you. Yeah. No, but really, what was your your happy? You, can you think about? You I got, think I when think, someone asks you that, you yeah, can't yeah, think I can't. Of it. I mean, my when I've done a show, I don't so really, much as well. You know, I think the night that Diana died, and we do you remember we went down to Harrods yeah, to yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah very sad when day, Diana though. died. That was a very sad die, yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. Was a lot of, no, lot of we went day, to Harrods yeah. at one o'clock in the yeah, morning yeah. to. Uh, Put well, they open it up for us, there. don't they? Secret, you know, secret yeah, shoppers. They don't. Yeah, yeah, that was a sad. Because we get mobbed otherwise. Night. Yeah, we do not get mobbed. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a break. Back after this. He's back and he's uncensored. Debating the breaking news and talking to the biggest names. Piers Morgan is live every week with a host of stars. Uncompromising. Unmissable and uncensored. And remember, if you're thinking it, we're talking about it. Piers Morgan, uncensored, Monday to Thursday at 8 p.m. on Talk TV. We're here, good morning, everybody. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining us. You're watching the Independent Republic of Mike Graham right here on Talk TV. Welcome to Friday Night with Nadine. Here on Primetime, we like to speak to the business people behind big moments. Good evening, I'm Piers Morgan, uncensored in New York City. Very impressive. Well played. I'm three days into the job. What have I done wrong? Yeah. And your face just stared <laughs> out at me. Ah. <laughs> me and you, conquer time. Who Bye. wins? You. <laughs> do you know what I love about Tour today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. Are you actually speech rating for Rishi Sunak? I'm so rich. <laughs> but, uh, frankly, uh, I'm going to take the side of boozed up Brits against these pompous. What, do you mean you're not going to support Mayor Jose no, Luis Sanz? No, I am Sanz. not. Stop pandering to the NIMBYs, to the naysayers, and the National Society for the preservation of the habitat of the lesser spotted newt. The problem lies in the bureaucracy. Yeah. It's That's almost like those highly done. paid consultants don't really know what they're doing. First thing they teach you in weather school is never confuse dog walkers with doggers. Twitter, you sons of <laughs> Can you please reinstate my account? Yeah. Thank you. There's a threat that you'd be worried about. <gasps> 
So are you saying that you're being overwhelmed, that you're inundated? We are really working hard for you. We're just asking patients to be patient with us. The one thing Labour would be terrified of if Boris Johnson zoomed back into full focus. Boris Johnson uh, isn't what he was. Most of them seem to have given up. Welcome to the talk. It's really great to be back. My little darlings. Mm. Kids think all they have to do is stay at home, be silly, mm -hmm. take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok then, yeah? Problem oh, yes, solved. Yeah. Problem solved. He's as up. fit as a butcher's dog. There he's, you go. He's fit as a butcher's dog? Him. Oh, right. <laughs> but, but he's now middle class. Three of us here, Tess. <laughs> the knock-on effect is far larger than just CO2. Oh, I nearly have empathy when I'm speaking to them. I know now you're probably going to boot me off the show after saying this <laughs> girl. <laughs> but but man. I can't say, I'm not, I'm not a Swifty. Critics, I'd say me included, <laughs> got former PMs all over the joint saying things the last few days. They have indeed, yeah. Great first show, you having fun? Oh, a ton of fun. Yeah. King Piers and King Cube. I think it's only room for one king, man, you know what I'm saying? Just because they're skin folk don't mean they're kin folk. When I say I am God, you think I'm joking or not? You tell me. I'm not joking. I'd rather do it on camera. No, 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 no. no. If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Why? We'll explain why. How do you feel about that influence that you have? You better be careful. We're coming for your children there, buddy. About my resignation, yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. It was a fabulous dinner <laughs> until you two uh, mooned us. <laughs> Thank God for Talk TV is not only the home of common sense, it's the only place uh, where you get the truth. Big opinions. You can't be concerned about these people coming because that makes you a nasty racist. Big guests and the big issues of the day. Join me, Julia Hartley Brewer, every day at 1 p.m. when I'll be tackling the stories that affect real people's lives. These people were effectively, you know, tried and convicted by the court of public opinion. When did we stop the presumption of innocence? Talk TV. If you're thinking about it, we're talking about it. Uh, right, welcome back. Lady W joins me for the last part of the programme tonight because we've had so many guests not able to get here. And um, I was... Scraping the barrel. <laughs> not scraping the barrel at all. <laughs> and people, since we started doing this podcast about, I don't know, 30 or weeks ago, have, have said, why do you never get her back on the show? Because last time she was so good. And everybody thinks I'm keeping you off. Oh, right, I see. And I'm not. I'm going to prove it. Well, Not I was a bit worried when you said that you didn't want Ash sitting beside you because he kept touching your legs. Uh, yeah. He only likes me to touch yeah. him a little. I go over the top. But I, you know how I, I thought that was part like of the job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. part of the, the role. So. She, she says that to me. I was saying, like, please, can you just stop stroking me all the time? So now he well, knows Ash, what it's like. Ash is always stroking well, that you. Must be. No, no. Oh, Jane's <laughs> stroking me. That's my wife. <laughs> Don't fight her. My <laughs> wife. <laughs> no, but I listened today and I thought the highlight was that you you ordered 28 tins of creamy 45 That's and then and so and then it came the month after because you put a subscription in i was just learning amazon yeah and you bought a lot of mattresses once didn't you no. duvets duvets, duvets. A, 20, a seven and a half ton truck so he's a shopaholic you said on the podcast well he bought them by accident he only wanted to buy you one. know the bit where it says number that you want he yeah. doesn't know realize i that. do now but he also doesn't understand how you can return things and he has a lot of shirts you said he bought a lot of shirts yeah. today he has Quite a Vulgar shirt collection. Shirts. A shirt, the James Wells shirt There is collection. a rail of white shirts. Yeah. And so uh, on Tuesday, when we were going to the hospital, it's like, um, I'm, I've got enough shirts, I'm not going to buy any more. I said, like, that's good. You and then, they're really flammable, those shirts. The so Amazon don't you, package you know. arrived. And there it was, a white shirt. Because obviously... It's a nice different. white shirt, this time, isn't it? Yeah. At least you stop buying those, you know, very fussy ones. No, I like you know. those as well. No, for, yeah, for, like you know, them. relaxed programs. But yeah. now we're on prime time. I yeah, think right. we're going to get an expert next week like to Rupert talk to you about your shopaholic um, problem tendencies. Yeah, yeah. Mm. we're going to get an expert. That's what you've been talking about in there, isn't it? <laughs> but it is <laughs> no, good online. You can go shopping with just sitting there in your pants, and it's like going shopping. Isn't I it? don't. You see, the thing is with. With the E45 cream, because I have to and keep my books. And the toilet rolls. So oh, really do you? No, but it's good to buy in bulk, isn't it, on those? See, I said that. You go through them, don't you? No, not. we've got like a hundred. Doesn't hundred. it? Has it changed? You bought a hundred. I, I see Kenny Everett used to have a flat in London, and he just filled it with toilet rolls. Mm. Why? Because he just didn't want to go shopping, so he just <laughs> filled it with toilet rolls, so then he would always have some. You yeah, know, we... we um, good man, yeah. 
Yeah, well, I, I, look, this is, I haven't got, I had ten duvets. I accidentally bought, I just wanted ten one. Ten duvets? Ten, and they're quite expensive. So did you just and give them to up, your neighbours? They take up quite a lot of space. You I sold them. them. They had to be given oh. away. They did you make a few quid? You didn't sell them. I did. No, you didn't. I, I sold what, some like, of them. Don't come to market. You know that. Like Del Boy. She doesn't know that. But I sold them to our I friends. I know guys sold duvets. Did you make a profit? Ten, ten quid a profit. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Which what? friends? I'm not going to mention them on the programme, am I? There are people out there watching who might be offended. <laughs> anyway, if they'd like some toilet paper well, or what? E45 cream. Yeah. What's right. e, what you is might E45 need both. cream? You might need both, won't you? Don't you say <laughs> is it, is this for, what the daughter said. After the water Do not Is it a sexual that? thing? It's a cream, yeah. No, it's just a moisturiser. It's a moisturiser. Where do you put it on your body? Nappy rash. You know when you get nappy rash? Yeah, does he get nappy rash? James gets a lot of nappy rash. Because he sits in his own... <laughs> Do you stop it now, the pair of you? You've been very grumpy this evening. Yeah, very, very grumpy. grumpy. What's wrong with you, man? You moved Bash over here. You've been yeah, shouting yeah. at all the callers. Yeah, yeah, poor Ash. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, Lizzie Cunley's left her card out. We've oh, she'll never, get, she'll never no, get in uh, again. Uh, that gets access everywhere. I'm being told here by some to each saying I'm not nearly grumpy enough and can I physically grapple with Ash? Yeah, because I was mentioning it earlier, people no. actually want to see us. Jilly wants to see us grappling. I've seen no, you two no. get physical before. It doesn't yeah, yeah. end well. Have you? Yeah. yeah. He For gets sure hurt. He and then he blames because my blocks are very hard. And then he goes, ah, you hurt he, me. He's like Big Daddy. You don't want to no, mess with I, him. I go, well, you, you know, you play with the big boys. That's what happens. Yeah. And you just fall over a lot. So the I do fall over a lot. But then I'm a very old and very ill person. And I think that has to be I taken into consideration. You've always fallen over a lot, you told me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I do I do have a tendency to fall over. Like, but, like Frank know. Spencer. Yeah. yeah. Look at this other idiot here. Why won't you let people speak? Well, if you've got something intelligent to say, call in, we'll let you speak. Uh, and I've let a lot of people speak on the show tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. In fact, you... Chuck brought in me thing. Do you want to have a play thing? No. You know. <laughs> OK. So she always says it. And, um, and I haven't cut nearly enough people off. Probably only three. No. You know. They've added a coffee cup to the buzzer, haven't they? Does they? Um, shall we go through yes. today's new feature? The media thing. The media yeah. watch. We're going to play some clips that have been bigger than news this week and we're going to see Are these viral and... period dramas? Because sh- No, Lady, they're not. Lady these, W These are things in the news period. that have gone viral. Right. So okay. first of all, I want to show you Just Stop Oil. We're we not played... made a jingle. No, no, no. We played a little bit earlier. So <laughs> Just Stop Oil decided they wanted to stop the migrants getting on the Bibby Stockholm. Mm-hmm. We have no idea why they did that, because normally they just try to stop oil. Attention seekers. But the coach didn't stop and ran them over. Of course, we don't condone that. It didn't run them over. It, no, it, it didn't it's, run it's them slowly over. slowly... Nudged them, them, which yeah. is actually yeah. illegal, yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 and we the don't driver, condone that. Which no, is illegal. The driver, we don't condone. We that don't at condone all. that. No. But if people are going to continue to do this, yes, then the police need to get there pretty quickly and pull them out. This of is the what way. they need to do. Well, shall we have a quick look at that yeah. clip now? Yeah. We don't condone this. Roll VT. <laughs> More clips. We'll just whisper. We, and they've yeah. got like high vis oh. stuff on. Oh, yeah. We're back. We um, don't condone. We don't. Con- this but there's a great. Part. There's a great part in that video with a guy in charge wearing the trench coat. Mm. He says, "Everybody, sit on the road now," <laughs> and they all sit, and he just walks off. Yes. <laughs> He's yeah. a sensible one. I mean, quite frankly, uh, I have no idea why we haven't behaved more strongly against people yeah. blocking the highway. We um, have the laws to do it. We don't we, need any We new don't laws. know why they were doing that, because they were trying to stop the migrants getting back yeah. on the Bibby Stockholm, which now is a safe place for them to live. But they knew it would get them in the pipe. That's the biggest story of that day. That's what They were doing a lizzie. Do you, do you know also they've arrested Roger Hallam, who is the leader, yeah. or the original... Uh, f- why are uh, we having of, him on the show today? We had him on last week. Uh, oh, that's right. Dawn Raid. Yeah. Him and the, oh, the other guy. The one, yeah, the the one who said he was a professional activist yes. and would go and do this sort of thing for yeah. anybody. Uh, so next up, we've got something that happened in France this week. This is a climate protester who was tackled by a nun. I love this. This is one yeah. of the best so bits the, of So the police I've can't seen. stop the climate activists, but a French nun can. Oh, Let's nuns are scary. <laughs> Thank you.
I'll tell you, I went to a convent. You don't want to get Amazing. alongside no. me. No, no. Well, Lizzie Cumney as well. You two both went to yeah. a convent. Oh, they're very friendly about yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah. I think we should get all the nuns out. The next time, you know, they're blocking a bridge. Terrifying. Let's get yeah, the nuns terrifying. out. You don't mess with a nun. You I don't. Mean, you wouldn't. Being quite serious, you are quite serious about this, aren't you? You were frightened of them. I still, I'm, you know, in awe of a nun if I see one. Definitely. Gosh, I'll... really? Yeah, they, they're scary. Yeah, they're you know, very disciplined. Well, again, yeah, you know, they're religious. Hard discipline, wasn't it? Religious yeah, people who perhaps go a little bit too far. Maybe yeah. a lot too far. Uh, yeah. Next up, Big Brother is okay. in the news. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are talking about it, and we found the clip of you oh, for no. when you were evicted. D6. So this is you, the day you were evicted from Big Brother, and there's a bit of swearing, I'm sorry. Let's have a look. Oh, oh dear. I'm here! You really need to have some guys. Every religion believes in an imaginary friend. What we need is a little democracy, is it not? No, mate. He's quite opinionated. You're known as a bit of a mouthy bitch. He just seems uptight. Do you want to wake? Oh, no! I mean, I'm not known to be that sensitive, am I? Guys. <laughs> That's it, right? That really is terrible. We are seeing anarchy. Well, the bald eagle, fuck him. Let's deal with this now. Uh, Aubrey. I feel like I'm, I'm being told what to do. Spend time over there. No, don't interrupt me. No, you're uh, fake. You, you and can... you just expose yourself. I'm going to revert to being just miserable old bastard and sit in the corner of my own. Uh, it's a mad thing, bro. If I haven't looked like a prick so far. My name's Marjorie. He's a grumpy old man, but he's got a huge heart. Oh, James yeah. is cute, isn't he? He wants to go out with a bang. Shit! <laughs> this Big Brother experience should be available on the national health. I think it would be good for everybody. Do you know, I don't remember, I don't remember doing any of that at all. But the American lady, who was trying to be my best friend, and I felt a bit sorry for her. Oh, well, there's Daisy May. I felt a bit sorry for her. Um, no, that's Fanny Boo. No, that's Daisy May. Will you shut up? Okay. Um, I put her up for eviction. And who was she? Was she a reality star? Yeah, in from America. America. Yeah. yeah. And, and a singer in America. You band. hurt her feelings. Because every morning yeah. you yeah. would... What would you do? You'd, what, she didn't do your makeup, and then what would you do for her? And then you nominated her, yeah. and she found out, and she, yeah. you know it was like Judas. Her. But you I were just playing the her. game. But Americans, they they, they they take it too seriously. We've don't got they? one last clip though. We're running out of time. Oh, okay. So this is a big story this week. Doctors. Sorry, Do you know I... the TV show Doctors? No, yeah. I don't. It's yeah. very popular with older people. It's been on for twenty three oh, years. Based in Birmingham, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, based, based in, in Birmingham. Birmingham. It employed a lot of people, Brilliant. and the BBC have axed it after twenty three years, and everybody's heartbroken because they said they can't afford to make these shows anymore because Netflix is taking over, mm. and so is Amazon. It's the beginning of the end for the BBC. Oh. Doctors for yeah. Netflix. Um, so we've got a very short clip of Doctors coming up now, and this is Joe Pasquale when he played a stalker oh, yeah. on Doctors. Right, okay. Let's have a look. I, I really thought it was him. I get that look. Yeah, so do I. Thanks for your time, Martin. You can go and have your lunch now. I've been thinking that working here is far too stressful. I'm afraid I won't be returning after lunch. Joe Pasquale is leaving the building. Good. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? He was playing it the same. Talk to me, isn't So he? it's a woman who's got a mental illness. That's and, quite an interesting And in the concept, show, she it? believes everybody is Joe Pasquale. Have you ever had one of those days? No. Do you remember he came in once? I remember he came in and he, he lifted his shirt and his, all his kidneys were black and he said, you have taken up boxing and someone had really battered him. And he, 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 uh, yeah, I mean, he, I, he I've never... Kidneys. I've... I have heard in my mind about this program, but I've never seen it. It's very popular. No, it's I'd much rather been on for 23 years. I'd much rather watch news or Netflix. I think Jess Conrad had a part in Doctors recently. Oh, everybody's been. Yeah. I'm amazed I, you've been. I like there. it because you see bits of Birmingham uh, in yeah. it. You go, oh, here's this, me old. Yeah. yeah, but but now you can't you can't get a doctor on the, on the NHS or the BBC. You can't get a doctor <laughs> anywhere now. No, it's, that's no. why I have to get her. It's not realistic. Yeah. What is your favourite program? Come on, you, we watch it's it. James last Whale Unleashed, doesn't it? Yeah, no, she hates it. She doesn't question. watch it. She's been traumatised. She's like everybody else. Watching it. Do you watch nights. soap operas? Do you watch anything? No, I like Antiques Roadshow, Gardener's World. But you like the beat, the beach shows, you know, the reality shows a lot. You know, what's that? Oh, she oh, Sex loves on the Beach love show. Love was it? Oh, Love Island. Oh, Love Island. Yeah, I, I watched it. Did you like the older version? Your mum, my dad. 
I haven't watched really? that one. Apparently it's very good. It's Did the you, by the way, yeah. in that clip they showed, the guy who won when I was bear. in the house, Bear. He's in prison. Yeah. I think you could Locked see it. It's pretty it. horrible. 